What up, Wargamers? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Stoss, and today I have Dwayne with me. Hello. And we are back to have another game of Warhammer Fantasy, 6th edition. That's right, we are back for another one. And today it is going to be Dwarves versus... Hordes of Chaos. Excellent, again, the, the Slanesh yep. boys have come back to the table to, to throw down again and see if we can get some revenge against Christos. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed this time. Indeed, indeed. Um, I have, I've changed up my, my usual dwarf list a bit. Um, I've attempted to, you know, tone it down a little bit somewhat, um, just to, just so we can have a bit more of a, a more balanced game, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> than our last one, which was a bit of a windfall. Um, so, so yeah, I've thrown, like, I've gone character heavy on my dwarves, um, I'm pretty low on the, the, the level of artillery and shooting in general. Um, so yeah, should be pretty interesting. You've changed up your list a bit as yeah, well, it's yeah? slightly different. I've moved a few things around and added a unit. Indeed, indeed. It is a little more demonic this mm. round, which is super cool. Um, and the new unit just looks amazing. So, so well done, sir. Well done. Um, so yes, and you will see all of that in a minute. Now, if you are interested in coming in and having a game with me on the channel and you live near Brisbane or are willing to travel, hit me up on the Rogue Element Gaming Facebook page. Link's in the description and we'll get something sorted out. Um, if you enjoy the video and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It'll just help give you more of my videos. Um, if you are subscribed, like the video guys, it just pushes it out to other people. You know, we'll just keep growing this little thing out. If you want to support, uh, consider becoming a channel member or giving a one-off donation with a super thanks. So if you want to support the channel, those are the ways to do it, guys. But without any further ado, let's have a look at the armies, we'll have a look at the table, and then we will get this underway. And here we have my 2,000 points dwarf list from Carrick Hearn for today. All right, starting out with the general, it is being led by Boric Thunderbrow Thorixen today. Um, I've got a bit of a different build on him today. So he's going to have his usual great axe. He's going to have Gromril armor with the Rune of Stone, giving him a three up armor save. And then he's also going to have um, the Rune, the Master Rune of Steel on his Gromril, which means any successful wound rolls against him need to be re-rolled. Oh yes, yes, it's an expensive rune, 75 points, but you know, I'm um, hearing the call from the community that I need to change things up, so I'm doing it. There you go, guys. <laughs> um, and he will also have a runic talisman with the Master Rune of Spite, giving him a four up ward save. So three up armor save, you need to re-roll successful wound rolls, and he's got a four up ward. He is still a bit of a tank, but just doing it in a bit of a different way this game. All right, moving on, we have Thane Thorin carrying um, Boric's personal standard into battle. Um, he is going to be armed with Gromril armor. No rune of stone on him today. He is going to have two runes of iron on his Gromril, giving him a five up ward save. And he has a runic hand weapon with a single rune, the rune of cleaving, giving him plus one strength. Again, a bit of a different, uh, different build for my battle standard bearer. I've wanted to uh, make him a little bit more survivable because he just keeps dying and I needed to give him a ward save. So there he is. He's got the five up ward today and just the one rune on his hand weapon. All right, then we have Thane Barden Flinteye. Um, he's been put together pretty cheaply just to lead a unit of warriors. He's got a great weapon, Gromril armor, rune of stone, giving him that three up armor save and a single rune of iron, giving him a six up ward. Nice and cheap just to give uh, another unit of warriors a bit of punch. And we have a fourth hero today. It is going to be a Dragon Slayer. This is going to be Skaggy Dragon's Bane. Oh yeah, Skaggy. <laughs> um, and you know, Slayer units, Slayer characters can only take weapon runes and they can't take armor. So he is a glass cannon to the max, um, but he is going to have the Master Rune of Swiftness on his hand weapon, giving, making him always strike first. Um, and a single rune of cleaving, giving him plus one strength. So hopefully with that always strike first, he might be able to kill something before it just kills him in return. <laughs> so that is it. That is the, uh, the lords and heroes. Let's have a look at the meat and potatoes, the core. We have 10 quarrelers with shields, no command. We have 19 warriors with hand weapons, shields, heavy armor, full command. 
We've got 20 Dwarf Warriors with uh, great weapons, heavy armor, and full command. Moving into the special, we've got 22 Iron Breakers, full command, and the Rune of Battle on the standard, giving them plus one combat res. Then the, uh, the bunker to hold the Dragon Slayer. We have 19 Slayers, full command. Hell yeah, they're going to be led by, you know, a bit of a boss this game. All right, coming into the artillery slot, continuing with the special, we have a single artillery piece today. It is a grudge thrower with the Rune of Accuracy, giving it the ability to re-roll the, uh, the scatter dice. And then the single rare choice unit. It is going to be a gyrocopter today. Yes, the steampunk little helicopter of the dwarves. And that is it. That is it. It is a bit of a, a bit of a different list for the dwarves today. Let's see how it goes. That is 2000 points of Karakhern. And here we have Dwayne's immaculately painted and converted 2000 point army of hordes of chaos, Slanesh. All right, Dwayne, take us through it, sir. Sure. Uh, we got the Lord over here. Yes. The Blind Prince. Indeed. With his Mark of Slanesh. Sword of Striking this time. And the Gaze of the Gods. Should keep him alive a little bit longer. So what does the Gaze of the Gods do? That's a four up ward save. But if he's fleeing at the start of my turn and doesn't rally, uh, he turns into a spawn. <laughs> Amazing, yes, because the, the gods are watching him. And if yeah. he displeases them, Oh, then he uh, he Bad cops news. indeed the great change. Yep. <laughs> Very good, and he's he's going in the chariot today, yep, right? Today he's going to sit up back in the chariot. So cool, a mounted lord in a chariot. That is super awesome. We haven't had one of those on the channel. Very cool, sir. All right, continuing along with we the heroes. The heroes, we got Alteramund, the wizard. He's got the mark of Slanesh. Uh, he's level two and has a spell familiar this time. Oh, very nice, giving him an extra spell. Yep. Cool. Love it. And then the demon. Yep, the exalted demon Sin Sator. Very cool. With his Mark of Slanesh and Diabolic Splendor, which gives him a regular ward save instead of a demonic ward save and applies it to any demon units he's with. Ooh, very nice indeed. That should come in handy. All right, so yep. where are we going next? Uh, moving on to core, we've got the two units of Marauders. Very nice. One with shields and full command and light armor. Very nice. And the other one with flails and not full command, just a leader and a musician. Okay, nice. Yeah, so they're just missing the standard for today. Yeah. Very good. And they're a little bit smaller this time uh, to make room for another unit. Indeed, sir. Um, where the do you want to go next? Warriors. The Warriors. Um, that's 12 Warriors with the Mark of Slanesh and full command. Very nice, very cool. Yes, you've, uh, you've changed the formation somewhat from last time. Yep, they just moved around a little bit. Very good. And then we've got the Knights yes. uh, with their Mark of Slanesh and full command. Hell and yeah. they're still chosen, but they don't have a magic banner like last time. Very good, makes sense. The, the banner was perhaps a little overkill. Yeah, so. they're a very expensive unit already and that was pushing it a bit too far. Indeed, sir, indeed. <laughs> but hell yeah, they still look amazing. Yep. All right, swinging down uh, in yonder. In the special slot, we've got the Demonettes. Oh, there they are. It's the new unit that Dwayne has managed to put together for this game. And God, do they not look amazing. It's a unit of 12. Um, they don't have full command, even though I modeled them with it, um, just because they can't take it in a regular Hordes of Chaos list. Ah, oh, of course, of course. But man, that banner looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna throw your uh, your Instagram into the, 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 the description of the video. So, um, Art of Dwayne on Instagram, guys. If you wanna get some nice close-up shots of, uh, of these models, check them out. Link's in the description. All right, where are we heading next, sir? Uh, just next to them in the rear, we've got the cannon. That's a Dogs of War mercenary cannon. Very nice. Hell yeah, which you converted up to look, you know, yep, gross chaotic. and chaotic indeed. Yes, the, the filthy, filthy mercenaries of the Dogs of War. Uh, and the spawn, just one spawn. Just the one spawn, the golden serpent, I believe. Yep, and it's upgraded to be a spawn of Slanesh. Ooh, very nice. And what does that do? That gives him an extra D6 movement speed. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, he is quick, he's swift, he's going to be scuttling along on those little lizard legs. Very nice, sir. very nice, very cool. So that is it, that is the 2000 points of Hordes of Chaos, Slanesh. All right, rolling up the three spells for Arteramond. Arteramond, the Arteramond, sorcerer. Arteramond, the sorcerer, very good, sir. All right, roll him up, let's see what he gets. Um, Six, five, and three. Very cool. 
getting the high spells, getting the big ones. Uh, so titillating delusions, that's the one that we had from last game where he can pull yep. a unit out of uh, out of position. Makes that an illusion would be follow. very useful indeed. Um, enrapturing spasms, what does that one do? Um, that's the one that stops them from attacking or moving. Ah, very good, shutting down a unit completely. And yep. delicious excruciations. Makes a unit unbreakable. Oh. And replaces demonic instability with that. Ah, gnarly. All right, cool. <laughs> Very cool, so that is the spells. It's titillating delusions, enrapturing spasms, and delicious excruciation. The yep, spells. Yeah, you happy Yeah, you happy with those? Yep. Beautiful, those are the spells for Slanesh. And here we are, all set up and deployed for this throwdown between the Hordes of Chaos and the Noble Dawi. So, uh, the basic kind of narrative that we have going on for this game is that uh, the dwarves of Carrick Hearn have been, you know, searching for a particular, you know, a, a particular, like, a, a cache of, of runic weapons and gold that has been lost to the dwarves for, for, for ages past, or since ages past. And they have located it, you know, uh, down at the foothills of the Border Princes, uh, down near, you know, off, not that far from Karakorn, but far enough that they've had to march out to get it in strength. Um, and arriving, you know, they've, they've been following the maps and the, the pathways and the paths of the, uh, uh, who are the Dwarven people? The, the Dwarven Rangers, the Dwarven Rangers, they've been following the paths and arrived at the dig site. Um, uh, to, to claim this ancient dwarven runic weapon and gold and gems and all the things that dwarves want. However, a host of Slaneshi <laughs> filth, <laughs> Slaneshi worshipping boys have come out of the Badlands through the Border Princes, uh, also seeking this great item of power, to, to claim for themselves this weapon of great power. Because, um, you know, Dwarven Runic weapons are coveted by all people across the old world. And these Slaneshi boys have also, you know, finding it uh, marked on a, an old map somewhere. They've, you know, killed it out of the hands of a treasure hunter. <laughs> and they have decided to come and claim it for themselves as well. So, yeah, so that is it. That is the, the basic narrative. And that does tie into the scenario that we are playing for today. We rolled it up and it is the capture scenario. So the way this scenario works is this point, there is a, a central objective here marked by, you know, this, this lovely treasure chest. This is the dig site that uh, the people are gonna be looking for to get this, this thing of power, this, this runic item. Um, at the end of the game, the closest unit to this point wins. <laughs> um, there's also a random turn length for this game. So at turn four, on a roll of two plus, the game continues to turn five. And then on turn five, a roll of three plus continues to turn six, etc. So there is no actual definitive end to the game. It always comes down to a dice roll. So it'll be going, you know, two plus, three plus, four plus, five plus, and then it'll just cap out at six plus forever. So if we just keep rolling sixes, this game will never end. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, the, the win condition is the, the unit with the closest, the closest unit to this at the end of the game wins. And the only tiebreaker is if we both have units equidistant to the objective, um, the, if one of those units is double, uh, double the points cost of the other or more, that unit wins. Anything else is a draw. Anything else is a draw, uh, and we're going with remaining points for this. So that means, you know, that just, it gives the opportunity for if units have been ground down throughout the game and there's one that's still quite fresh holding the objective, you know, that fresher unit being at, you know, it's a remaining point at strength. The remaining uh, remaining points of the of the units holding the objective is how we are calculating that tiebreaker, the, the double points cost. Um, so yes, that is, that's the scenario we are playing today. Um, we are making the objective um, impassable terrain so that we can't just end up on top of it. We just have to be fighting around it. So this, this, this rock pile is impassable. We have to be basically just touching it slash close to it. Um, so yes, uh, that is that is what we are playing. Let's have a look at the battlefield. As per usual, just put the uh, terrain pieces, you know, on the table that we're gonna be using, picked a piece, scattered at 5d6, and then found out what we had. So we have two hills, one over there scattered out close to uh, Damon's deployment zone and one right out on the flank of mine. Dwayne's deployment zone. What did I say? It's a demon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Dwayne, apologies. Sure 
You would know. My bad. My bad. Dwayne's deployment zone. Apologies, sir. That's right. um, we He's have <laughs> we have an impassable piece of terrain, which is scattered out here. We have two woods, one right at the back in Dwayne's deployment zone, and one out on the flank, as well as two smaller outcrops of woods. And that's it. That's what we got. This is what we ended up with. Um, as per usual, for my channel, I allow marching through difficult and very difficult terrain. Still halves and quarters your uh, movement as per usual, but yes, marching is allowed. Um, so that, that's what we got for a battlefield. All of the extra little trees that you can see dotted around the edges of things, they're just there as set dressing. So let's have a look at deployment. On the dwarf side, we have the warriors with hand weapons and shields uh, led by Bard and Flinteye. We've got the slayers led by Skaggy Dragonbane. Um, we've got the, the one artillery piece, the grudge thrower. We've got the big unit, the big block, the iron breakers with um, the Thane Thorin battle standard bearer and Boric Thunderbrow Thorixen himself. Um, and then we've got the unled unit of uh, Dwarf Warriors with the Great Weapons. And then the Gyrocopter on the flank. And then on the far flank, <laughs> we have the Quarrelers hoping to move up and claim the hill in Dwarf Turn 1. So that, you know, they don't have to go out in that ridiculous long line and they can stay ranked up. All right, that is the Dwarven battle line. Uh, Dwayne, could you please take me through the Chaos side, yeah. please? Over here on my left, we've got the Demonettes with the Greater Demon, uh, not Greater Demon, the Exalted Demon. Exalted Demon. Um, you can join them. Very nice. Uh, then we've got Marauders. Indeed. Just a small unit tucked away behind the woods here. Beautiful. Warriors right in the center with the Sorcerer. Mm, nice. Um, the other unit of Marauders here, mm -hmm. for them. The Lord and the Chariot. Cresting the hill. Heck yeah, look at him, he's so fancy. Yeah. <laughs> um, the cannon sitting on the hill. Indeed, you just managed to get onto yep, the hill. Just barely. Love that. Uh, the spawn tucked behind it here. Indeed. And the knights on the far right flank. Indeed, ready to swing around and smash their way through the flanks of the battlefield. Yeah, hopefully. Turning the tide, hopefully, we will see. So, yeah, that is it. You know, it's going to be interesting. We're just pushing into the middle to smash over the over that central objective. We do have um, a larger deployment zones for this game as well. Um, so instead of our usual 12 inch deployment zone, we have a 15 inch deployment zone for this scenario. So we are only 18 inches apart at the start of the game. So we're all just going to be rushing forward to claim that objective for our own. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting one, guys. So, yeah, that is deployment. Uh, this is the battlefield. And that was the narrative. All that is left is to roll for first turn. Are you ready, Dwayne? I'm ready. Excellent, sir. Excellent. So the dwarves did end up finishing deploying first. So we will get the plus one to the roll. All right, sir. Good luck and Godspeed. Ha! Ah, a six. So oh we get a seven, God. mate. So it will be Dwarves turn one. Yes! Dwarves turn one movement phase. No charges to declare. So this is where everything is now. And this is where everything ends up all right the whole dwarven front line has just done a full six inch march forward we're just pushing to the center because that is what this game is about we want that dwarven runic weapon um so yes everyone just moved up my uh my quarrelers on the flank marched up onto the hill six inches so no shooting for them this turn but they are in position for the game and then my little <laughs> my little fly man my gyrocopter just managed to zip his way out just behind or just beside those units managing to stay just an inch away from both and march blocking and preparing to do its dirty deeds <laughs> being a, a massive pain in the ass and a thorn in the side of the chaos lines so that is movement phase done. Um, we are skipping straight past the magic phase because dwarves are not into that sort of thing. We drink the beer, we quaff the beard, and that is what we do. <laughs> um, and we go into what I like to call the dwarf phase. The shooting phase. Yes, sir, we're doing it. Um, it's not a very big shooting phase because I opted to go a bit of a lighter artillery list um, and they marched, so no shooting. Um, from them, but the grudge thrower is gonna do something a little cheeky. 
<laughs> the grudge thrower is attempting to throw its grudge right at the chariot that that, that fancy lord is riding in. Um, for a couple of reasons. A, because if I can destroy the chariot out from under him, that would be awesome because a lord riding a chariot is pretty terrifying. Pretty scary. Um, yeah. It's pretty scary. It does put him up to unit strength five, which means that he breaks ranks if he hits someone in the flank, which is... I don't know, it's making me nervous. So, and also there's just a lot of good room for scatter around there. I could scatter onto the Marauders or over onto the cannon. So it's, it feels like a pretty safe bet. So that's what we're doing. We are going Grudge Thrower at the Lord. And because he's towing up onto the hill, I can see him over my units. So let's do it, sir. I have guessed 21 inches, 21 inches towards that chariot. Ooh, I have gone a little bit short. I wanted it a little further, but yes, it is right there, right on the front of the horse. Okay, so it, if I get a direct hit, it's still gonna smash it and that'll be great. Um, two inches back would be good. Uh, out to the side, I'll take it. Let's see what happens. We roll the scatter and artillery die and see where it goes from there. So, ha! Oh, oh, six, six inches, inches back that away. I doubt that's gonna be hitting much, that, if anything. It's gonna be right out here. Okay, so I'm gonna re-roll the scatter dice. Re-rolling the scatter dice because it has the uh, the the rune of accuracy, allowing me to re-roll this boy. It gives me a second chance to get that direct hit, or maybe just scatter in a better position. Let's see. Come on, direct hit, do it! Ah, I get it! Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Okay, uh-oh. So I hit the chariot directly, um, which does mean that now it needs to, it randomizes, yeah? So it's gonna randomize. On a one to five, this hits the chariot. On a six, it hits the general. So who does the, the stone hit? Ha! Huh? It hits the chariot. Very good, that's kind of what I was hoping for. All right, so now it is strength eight under the dot. Chariot is toughness five? Toughness five, all right. So I am wounding it on a two. And if I wound it, the chariot is just <laughs> destroyed because as soon as a chariot takes a wound by something of strength uh, seven or above, it just destroys it. So on a two plus, the chariot is destroyed. Here we go. Ha! Huh? And it is! Oh, oh my god, again. it no. is! <laughs> I'm sorry, Dwayne, I'm sorry. The chariot scared me, I wanted it gone. It just keeps falling off his mouth. I know, the poor guy. So again, oh my god, the grudges come out, <laughs> whoosh, boom, smashed into the chariot. It's been destroyed out from under him, but the, the prince still stands. Oof, okay, oh my god. Apologies, Dwayne. <laughs> Okay, oh, mate. That's a curse. I know, I know. Just stop putting him on things, mate. You gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. All right. So that is it. That's dwarf turn done. Um, we moved up. We. Oh no, no. Sorry, I've still got my gyrocopter. My gyrocopter. Oh yeah. Um, and my gyrocopter is going to shoot out its little steam-powered, like grape shot cannon into the flank of those demonettes. So we will figure out how many of these gals are getting smashed. All right, so we have four fully covered by the template, four, demina four demonets fully covered, eight being clipped by the template, and the uh, exalted demon is also being clipped. So the exalted demon is coming into the hit pool on a four plus. No, he's fine. Um, the, uh, the demonets are coming in on four pluses. Ooh, that looks... Nah, you, looks like three. <laughs> Boo. Not quite statistical, but that's all right. So this many are being hit. Um, it's a strength four little grape shot cannon coming into a toughness three demonette little demon lass. So we are wounding on fours. Yeah. Oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and you will have a five up demonic save against that, sir. All right. Here we All go. right. Can you save the lady? No. no one one of them. One of the little lasses goes down. <laughs> Pow, very good. All right, and that is it. Um, we, you know, we took the chariot out from the, from under the blind prince. Hilarious, <laughs> brutal. Ah, I feel a little bad, but anyway, I did it, I did it. Um, and we've killed a demonet. And that is it. That is the end of Dwarves, turn one. Hordes of Chaos, Slanesh, turn one. No charges to declare, so this is where everything is now, and this is where it all ends up. All right, Dwayne, take us through it, please, sir. Give us a wrap up. All right, the knights have marched and wheeled their way up the side. Indeed. The, pass. Uh, the spawn has wiggled his way over the hill. <laughs> Very nice. Um, 
Everything else has just moved up slightly. They've marched, but not their full distance. Indeed. Uh, Staying cagey, try not to give me a, a, yeah. a charge, but it I will mean... Indeed, sir. It will mean that I will get to take, you know, control of the center to a point. Um, yes, keep going, sir. Yep. Um, the Marauders just w uh, wheeled slightly. They couldn't do much. Indeed. Uh, they were march the, blocked by the, 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 the Gyro. The gyro. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so were the Demonettes, but they're pretty fast, so they moved up six inches. Beautiful. All right, and that is movement phase done. Everything is moving forward. The, the flanks are coming in quick. The center is being a little more cagier, holding back to, you know, to, to stay away from dwarf charge range. <laughs> um, so that is that. It's magic phase time, sir. So build your power pool for us, please, yes. Dwayne. Got two power dice base and then two for a level two wizard. Beautiful. All right, sir. And I, because I am a dwarf, get four base. I didn't bring any runesmiths, so it is just the the natural resistance of the dwarves and the hatred of magic that gives me my four, please don't hurt me dice. <laughs> All right, sir, uh, what would you like to cast? Um, I'm gonna try and cast Enrapturing Spasms. Ooh, is this the one that shuts down a unit? Yeah, yeah, it's the Fantastic. one that freezes up a unit. Love it. All right, sir, what do you need to cast it? it casts on a 10 plus. And who um, are you casting it at? He's gonna cast it at the Grumroll. Oh yes, indeed, the Iron Breakers. Makes sense, sir. All right, you can throw a max of three dice at yep. it, my friend, as a level two wizard. And he's going to throw all three at he's it. He's going to throw three. All right, looking for a 10. Yep, 10 plus. Good luck, sir. Well, you've gotten it. You've gotten right. it on an 11. All right, well, you only have one dice left. Um, so I'm going to throw all four dice at this. I need to see an 11 to dispel it. Ooh, and I do. I get a 12. Oh, get a 12. No, no enrapturing spasms for the dwarves. You know, we just, we feel the, the eerie, gross feelings <laughs> of the winds blowing at us and we just, oh, we grumble and we groan and we just throw it away with our, our natural resistance. Very good. All right, that's magic phase done, sir. I'm going to let you have a bit of a think about what you want to do with that cannon. All right, we've made some decisions here. And what are they, Dwayne? Yep, uh, the cannon is going to be firing directly towards the artillery. Very good. And it's going to be going, oh, what did I say, 15? I think 15, 15 inches. inches, yes. The hope is that it's landing kind of within the unit of slayers to kill a few and then bounce through into the artillery piece. Yep. Fingers crossed. Indeed, sir. Um, all right, so let's firstly, let's measure that up. Measure up your 15 inches. Right in the middle. Beautiful. Of that yes, yeah. landing right here, the center of the second rank, which means you'll be killing, you know, rolling through three of them at this point. Um, all right, roll that artillery dice and see how much further it goes. Six. Ooh, six inches. That's pretty nice. Excellent. So it's landing like right in front of the artillery piece currently. So all you need to do is not roll a misfire now, and you are hitting it, my friend. Here we go. Um, no! Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Do I so it nice. just embeds right in the ground, doesn't it? Nice. Oh. Oh, oh, right, right. So indeed, the cannon pops out, lands right in front of the machine and just embeds in oh, the no. ground. Boom! Showering it with dirt and scree <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, mate. Ah. Oh. You got to shoot it. You got to shoot, to shoot it. it. And it mate, time, yeah. mate, statistically, you guessed really nicely. That was that, was, that was good. That was solid. My first ever shot with it. Yeah. Hell yeah. It didn't just <laughs> blow up straight away. Hey. All right. Um, I think that's it, right? You don't have any other shooting. We have mm, no combat. Nope, that's all my shooting. All right. Well, you know, swift turn ones for, for, for both of us. But that is it. That is the end of Hordes of Chaos. Turn one. Dwarves turn to movement phase. No charges to declare because I don't think you've given me any, Dwayne. So this is where everything is now. And this is where everything ends up. Okay, so the flanking unit has just done a full reform to, to face the, the threats that are coming from the flank. The two central units have just marched their full six inches forward, forcing the issue with the chaos lines, um, but you know, making it so that they are absolutely closer to the objective. So at this point, the dwarves are holding the center. They will need to be pushed off it for there to be a chaos victory. So this was, this was the, uh, the gamble of staying a little bit further back. They've allowed me to do this, but the hope is that they'll be able to smash through me and claim it. Um, and then out here on the flank, the warriors with the great weapons have just moved up and wheeled, you know, protecting the flank of the general's unit and trying to keep, you know, both of these threats here roughly in front arc. Um, and my, my gyrocopter whipped its way from one side of the field to the other as I'm going to start putting some pressure on that cannon. So that is it. That is the movement phase done. It is shooting phase time. Dwarf phase the second. So um, it's guess ranges first. So today I am I'm using my grudge thrower 
to start seeing if I can soften up that cavalry, those chosen knights, because they scare me maximum. So I am putting it straight towards the, uh, the fancy purple man, the champion, and I have guessed 26 inches. All right, let's have a look how I've done, sir. Landing on the back of the horse so far. Hell yes, I've guessed it, guessed it. I've guessed it's my right range. I'm right on its tail. So yeah, landing a boom right at the back there. So can we keep it there? We've got two shots at a direct hit with the rune of accuracy. Ha! We get it straight away. Ridiculous. Oh boy. Um, so hmm, we will see how many of these boys are getting smashed. All right, so the champion is fully covered, and then we have four partials on either side of him, or two partials on either side. Um, so let's see how many of these are. Well, fact, actually, firstly, because the champion is being hit, let's do a lookout, sir, for him, sir. Okay. So on a two plus, the champion is safe. He is, so it'll just be a regular man that is being hit. And then these four partials are coming into the hit pool on fours. Ooh, only one of them, that's a big deal. Um, so it is strength four for the clips and strength eight for the gentleman straight underneath it. So I'm assuming they're toughness four knights? Yes. Yes, yep, toughness, toughness four. four. Beautiful toughness four. So one of them is being killed on a four plus. No. And one of them is being killed on a two plus. Oh, huh? yes. So one knight, one knight is smashed from the saddle. Boom, the, the grudge comes sailing over, slams into their lines. One of them directly under it gets ooh, smashed out of the way. It was going for the champion, but the champion wheeled his horse out of the way at the last minute and it slammed into one of his mates um, or one of his rivals. <laughs> um, and that is it. Everyone else just got, you know, their chaos armor got showered in some scree, but that is it. Excellent. We've killed a knight. Not the best, not the worst. Um, um, what else we've got? We've got some quarrelers. Um, the quarrelers who have marched up onto the hill are now looking at some very scary demons in front of them and they're going to take some shots at them. All right, so we've got 10 quarrelers. They are in half range, so that just means they're hitting on fours. So they drop their crossbows. They sight at the, the, the disgusting and scary, scary demons hitting them on fours. Ooh, that looks like a lot. I've missed three. Ooh. Above average to start off with, it's a strength four crossbow against a toughness three demon. So we're wounding them on threes. Ooh, yes, we only missed one. Whoa, big oh. dice. Um, so that will be six wounds, sir, on their five up demon saves. Oh, you'd get a good I spread. You save half of them, mate. Well in, three but dead. three demons go down to the crossbow bolts of the dwarves. Nice, good saves, mate, solid. That could have been quite nasty. Um, all right, and then all that is left is the gyrocopter. Um, so we'll get out the template and we'll see what we can get going here. So I can fully cover two of the crew and clip one of them. So the one clip is coming into the pool on a four plus. Get in, mate, the water's fine. No, God damn it. <laughs> um, and so the two of them are just wounding on, do they have any armor? They don't have any armor. No so. armor, so we're killing on four pluses. I need to get the both of these so that you can only shoot once per turn. Come on, give me them both. Do it! Yeah, I do. So two crew are removed, sir. Um, you'll still get to shoot as normal next turn, but then you are shooting every two turns because it takes that one man a bit of time to reload that cannon. Excellent. Well done, Gyro. You're doing your job, mate. Um, uh, so look, that was that was not the worst. I killed three divinets. I killed a very very scary knight and a couple of crew. Pretty good. It's going fairly well at the point at this point for the dwarves. But that is it. That is the end of dwarves. Turn two. Hordes of chaos. Turn two. Charges to declare. And we do have some, do we not? Yes. All right, Dwayne. Tell me about it. What's doing what? The knights have declared a charge on these dwarf warriors. Fantastic. They will hold, sir. Yep. Uh, hopefully the spawn can get his, get out of the way before they have to charge. Indeed, because the compulsory <laughs> move will happen before the move charge happens. Yep. The Lord and his marauders are charging right into the Slayers. Excellent. They will hold because they must. Yep. He's going to try and take out as many as he can. I think he'll do fine. <laughs> um, the warrior with the wizard, uh, warrior block with the wizard, charging into the rum roll plate. Very good. Into uh, the, the iron, iron breakers. breakers. Indeed, sir. Uh, and then... 
the exalted demon is leaving his unit behind and flying directly into the Quarrelers. Into the Quarrelers, sir. So he's declared the charge. Um, so let's just measure it and see if he's in range, because yep. if he is, I have to take a terror yep. test. And I, 20, 20 inches, fly. he's 100% in range. In range. Yep. Yep. No <laughs> chance, no nothing. So they must take a terror test, because they're being charged by a terror-coursing, exalting, exalted demon. So... They are dwarves, so they're leadership nine. But if I fail this, I just turn and run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, boys, here we go. Do you hold your nerve in the face of the charging, flying, demon, exalted thing? <gasps> no, they run! Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. He's too scary. Uh, he is. He is the scariest. So they're going to run 2d6 minus 1. All right, because they're dwarves and they've got short little legs. All right, so I want you to run out of his charge range, <laughs> but not off the table. This is That's a thin it's line. Very, very thin line. All right. Ha! Okay, so they're running six inches. Hmm. So that is where I got to, which got me right on the absolute very edge of the table. However, he is still well within his 20 inch charge range. So he does capture and butcher them as they go to run away. And so he will just go his full 20 inches yeah. out to the back lines. And right behind the hill where the dwarves used to be. <laughs> Beautiful. And there he goes, you know, his, his filthy claw and gnarly club is just spattered in dwarf meat and blood as he has just flown through the run, tried to scatter down, and he has just carved them up as they've attempted to run away. No, poor little quarrelers. bits everywhere. Very nice. Very cool, sir. Well in. Um, all right, so now charges are declared. We've done that one. So now we come on to compulsory moves. So we're doing a compulsory move for the uh, the Golden Serpent. Oh, yeah, we probably should have done that before he charged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't ah, matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he's at the other end of the battlefield. Indeed, sir. Um, so what is that what He's going to be going directly doing? towards the Slayers. Straight towards the flank of the Slayers. Very good. And he's going 3d6 because he is the Mark of Slanesh. Oh, Ooh. six inches. I think that should Seven. get you out of the way. Seven inches, yes. I can get him can... out of the way, but it won't get him into no, combat. Definitely not into combat, but he's ready for next turn. Yeah, you got yeah. him, sir. Beautiful. All right, sweet. That is the compulsory move done. So now it comes on to move charges and remaining moves. So this is where everything is now. And this is where everything ends up. All right, Dwayne, give us a little wrap up. All right, the knights have charged into the dwarf warriors. Indeed, the warhorn has sounded and boom, they've come rashing in. Rashing. <laughs> um, yes, please continue, sir. Uh, the spawns moved up just a little bit, but couldn't quite get far enough to get to the slayers. Indeed. Um, the marauders and the lord have bravely charged into those slayers. So cool. Um, the warriors with the wizard have gone head to head with the Grumrill armed uh, Ironbreakers. Indeed, sir. The Ironbreakers with the, the, the Thane Battlestander Bearer and Boric Thunderbrow Thorixen. It's going to be a tough fight for them, but yep. this should be cool. Um, the other Marauders have only just moved up slightly. They couldn't get into anything. Indeed, this yes. Turn in the future, though. They were still march blocked and hampered by that little wood, so they've just, they've just cagely, you know, cranked their way up. Yep. And, um, the, and the, the Demonettes have moved up to get into position for the next turn. Perfect, there it is. And yes, the, the demon prince is still over here licking the yep. blood off his claws. <laughs> <laughs> He'll catch up, he's pretty fast. Indeed he is, indeed he is. So that is movement phase done. It is magic phase time, sir. Um, what is your wizard doing? He's gonna cast Enrapturing Spasms and Ooh. he's gonna aim it for the Slayers. Very good, sir. Now does this, does it require line of sight or is it just a radius? Um, Target a unit within 18 inches, even if engaged in combat. Perfect. Yep, so they are absolutely targetable. All right, my friend, and what is it to cast? It's a 10 plus, and he's going to throw three dice at it. Three dice, looking for a 10 plus. Good luck, sir. What'd you get? Uh, 10 exactly. 10 exactly? He's done it. Oh boy. Well, I definitely don't want that to happen, because that just means that my slayers can't fight. We can't do anything. We're just like spasming out because we're loving life, <laughs> which is a bit weird. Um, so I want that not to happen. I need to see a 10 on these four dice. Oh, oh do nine. I? Nine. No. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, that's horrific. That's oh fantastic. my God. What are you about? That's so bad. <laughs> All right. So the Slayers are spasming out from, you know, enraptured. I don't know. They just, they're, they're having a great time. They're having a great time, <laughs> but they're about to have a very bad time. <laughs> that's so brutal. Well done, sir. Well done. Yeah. Bit of spells getting off against the dwarves. That's great. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, I like that one perfectly. Indeed it did. All right. So that's, that's magic phase done, sir. It's, um, um, it's shooting phase. You've got your cannon. What do you want a cannon? What do I want a cannon? Um, 
Well, there's one big target still, the grudge thrower. That there is. I'm gonna cannon them. Fantastic. All right. Um, I'll let you. I'll let you consider your guess. Yep. We're going 16 inches. 16 inches straight towards the grudge thrower. Yep. All right, my friend. Let's measure it up. Landing right here currently. All right, let's roll that artillery dice and see how much further it goes. Oh, what is that? Woods four. four. That is a four. Four in the woods. Um, so an extra four inches is currently landing it like an inch away. Oh, so again, it's gonna... <laughs> mate, again, anything other than a misfire will slam straight into it. History's gonna repeat. You got this, mate. You got this too. It's All right, so it does. It slams into it, so only hitting the machine, none of the crew, um, but absolutely hitting the machine, sir. So it is a strength 10 cannon. You are wounding the machine on a two plus. You get it, beautiful. Um, it is a normal cannon, I'm assuming? Just a normal cannon. So, so it is doing D3 wounds. It has three wounds, a five or six. We'll destroy it. And you do oh, it, yes. you do it. Very nice, sir, boom. You destroy the grudge thrower. Excellent, well done, cannon, well, hell yeah. Love that, love that. It's getting it's getting a decent, you know, debut game where it's not just immediately destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it won't be able to shoot now uh, for two turns, or it right. can't shoot. Till the and... turn off the next. Exactly, yeah. exactly, sir. But very nice, it did its job. It destroyed my good. artillery piece. Very nice. Um, cool, that's shooting phase done. It's time for combat, baby, and we have a bunch of them. Um, where would you like to start? Let's start with the knights, I reckon. Start with the knights. Very nice, sir. So, as we can see, the Chaos Knights have come galloping down and have slammed into the front rank the shield wall of the Dwarven Warriors. Now, would you like to declare a challenge with your champion? Um, is there a character in that unit, or there, is it just a... There is a character, sir. It is Barden mm. Flinteye. No, not this time. Not this time? All right. Well, Barden Flinteye will declare a challenge. Ah, okay. Well, then I guess I'll accept. Very good. <laughs> it's going to be a little cowardly, but no, he'll, he'll accept. Very good, sir. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's let's do the challenge. Challenge happens first. Um, what's... Tell me about your stats. What do you got? Um, so, three attacks, weapon skill five, and strength five. Here we go. Three attacks hitting on four, sir, against Barden Flinteye. Oh, you get all oh, three. Man. Oh, Jesus. Strength five hits. That's very bad. That um, so strength five. He's only got toughness four, so you're wounding on threes, sir. Oh, my oh, God. And you get them all. Perfect <laughs> dice. Jesus. Um, so I have a three up armor save because Gromril with the rune of stone. Strength five makes that a five up armor save. I've only got two wounds. <laughs> oh, God. All right, five up armor saves for Barden. Flint high! I make one of them. That is him currently dead. I also have a single rune of iron on that on that Gromril, giving him a six up ward save. Uh-oh. <laughs> so he needs a six on these two dice to live. A single six to live. Does the rune of iron, you know, move the blade away from his vital organs? The blade comes swinging in. The rune begins to glow and... No, it no. doesn't save him. It cleaves ah. straight through. Does Amazing. The, does the steed take part in the challenge as well? It totally does. Okay. It totally so it gets does. One attack Indeed it does, kill, uh, yep, <laughs> So hitting on fours. Yep. Wounding on fours. Look at you yep. with your perfect <laughs> dice. Oh my God. It's finally going my I get way. a three up armor save. I fail it. And a six up ward. I fail it. So Jesus. one extra point of overkill. Indeed, sir. So you put four wounds through in total. Oh no, no, three wounds in total. Yeah. So one point of overkill. So he is worth three. Whew. Jesus, that uh, was well, brutal. That maybe I should have issued a challenge. Yeah, well, <laughs> in the end, it worked out just fine. Yeah. Um, all right, sir. So one, two, three, four regular yep. knights. So do they have two attacks apiece? On um, chosen knights, it gives them plus one attack. Jesus, yeah. God. My God. This is why they needed to die before they got to me last time. <laughs> but they're so expensive. Yeah, indeed, sir. Um, all right. So four knights. So eight attacks. Their weapon skill five? Yes. All right. So they're hitting on threes, sir. You miss one. Miss one. This is ridiculous, <laughs> Dwayne. So well. Oh my god. <laughs> um, um, strength strength five. five, so wounding on threes. Yeah. Oh, All right, so three wounds come through, sir. I have a three up armor save in combat for heavy armor shield and hand weapon, which means five up armor saves. Ha! Oh. oh. I rolled a, <laughs> the wrong guys. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, save two. One guy does go down. Boom. Okay. Ah, yes, and then four steeds. Hitting on fours. Getting two hits, wounding on fours, getting a wound, 
a four up armor save and I save it. Excellent. Um, all right. Whoa. I've got not much to put back and the one guy with the great weapon died. I shouldn't have declared that challenge. That was really <laughs> silly. Um, but such is life. I didn't think he'd just get killed, but there it is. And I have three dwarves remaining and one of them is a champion. So they're all going to strike, hitting on fours. Oh boy. <laughs> just one. Getting a single hit. Um, and your toughness, four, no doubt. Yep. So we are wounding on fives. No, very good. <laughs> all right, sir. This is... Ooh. All right, so you've got... Four wounds in total went through, and you have a standard. Yeah. I had three ranks, a standard, and I outnumber you. So it's a draw. It is a draw, sir. Do you have a musician in there? I do. As do I. So yes, the draw happens, my friend. Um, woof. That's lucky for me, but also so brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not going good for the dwarves here, people. Turn two chaos is doing the business. All right, where do you want to go next, mate? We'll move on along the ranks. Very good. The Over slayers. to my, my spasming uh, the slayers. The slayers are spasming, so they can't do anything till after my next magic phase. In, oh my god, that's after your I'm, next that's when the spell lasts still, magic yeah. phase. But is it a remains in play? Nope. Jesus, that's horrific. It's just until my next magic phase. That's so bad. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, you can butcher um, me for two straight combat phases, oh, sir. Are they immune to psychology? They are. Oh, then I, it wouldn't have worked on them. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, oh. Um, well... Oh, I didn't, I forgot to read that part. No, no, that's all right. Well, then you just would have cast one of your other spells if you'd read it through. Yeah. So what was the other spell you were thinking about um, casting? Delicious Excruciation. And what does that do? That would have made the Marauder unit unbreakable. Okay, okay, well, let's and do that instead. It was cast value 11, which is what I rolled, unless you want me to re-roll. You rolled a 10, didn't you? I rolled 11. You rolled an 11? Yeah, mm. I think I did. No, you rolled a 10, because I, oh, okay. I rolled a 9. Um, um, yeah, no, you're right. So... <laughs> Bugger. I totally forgot about that part of the spell. Oh, one. mate, blah. All right. Well, look, it seems like it seems like we don't have a magic phase then, from, okay. because Never if mind. you were trying to cast the other one, <laughs> yeah, we would have failed, failed to cast failed. it, and the one that you tried to cast on them doesn't affect them because I they're immune forgot. to psychology. <laughs> oh God, it's a big sigh of relief for the dwarves. Let me tell you, mate. <laughs> oh, that's savage. Okay. All right. Cool. Then this is just a normal combat phase. So let's. Let's get in on it, sir. Um, now, do you want to declare any challenges? Um, yes, my lord's gonna challenge your So you, you don't get to choose who you challenge. Oh, right. I choose who He's I going accept to with my friend. You're gonna declare a challenge? Yep. Um, well, I think my only chance is to not take the challenge with my Dragon Slayer and instead just take it with my unit champion so right. that my Dragon Slayer can attempt to carve up some of those boys. I think that's my only play here, and then that's what I'm gonna have to do. So the unit champion will step forward to take your challenge, sir. So let's do it. You can butcher him. <laughs> Put him down, sir. Okay. Put him down like the, the, the tiny little dwarf swine that he is. Five attacks. Five attacks. And you're hitting on twos because you have yeah, the- Plus one to hit with the sword of striking. The sword of striking. Hitting on twos, sir. Wow. Um, um, very good, you get them all. <laughs> and your strength five base. Yep. So you're just killing him on uh, threes, sir. Uh, you get three of them, so you do put down the giant slayer. He does go down, Whoa, blah. Um, and he will be worth three points, because you got two points of overkill on him. Nicely done. Now actually, technically, before all that happened, my dragon slayer would strike first, because he has the master oh, rune right. of swiftness, but it doesn't change that at all, so it doesn't okay. matter. So he is going to attack, and he's going to... Do you have a champion in here? I do. Fantastic. He'll put one of his attacks into the champ and then two into the rank and file. So the one into the champion, he will be hitting on threes. He hits him. He's strength five, so he is wounding on threes. He does wound him, sir. Um, light armor, shield, hand light weapon. Light armor, shield, and hand weapon. Yep. So you'd have a four up armor save, which goes to a six up. Six up to save. Oh, oh you yeah, get it. it. Damn it. <laughs> And his two other attacks coming into the rank and file on threes. Ugh. And threes. Yes. Um, and again, six up armor save, sir. No. All right, so we kill one rank and file uh, with the Dragon Slayer. So the rest of your guys can attack now, sir. At, oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five attacks. Yep. Now, do you want to put any of them into the Dragon Slayer, your champion, and yeah. one other guy could? I think I'll put three attacks into the Slayer. Three the attacks Slayer. into the Dragon Slayer. All right, let's start with those, sir. Hitting on fours, getting a Just single one. hit. Um, and winning on fives. No yeah. wound, he survives. Two into the unit then. Indeed. Again, on fours. 
Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> well, oh. I was really All right. banking on that spell, but I didn't realize. I know, it didn't work <laughs> out. God damn. All right, so the rest no, of my slayers are going to attack back. So uh, two, four, six attacks. All right, six attacks just going into the Marauders. Um, we are weapon skill three, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure weapon skill three. Weapon skill three? Um, I think so, yep. Oh no, we, oh. we're definitely not weapon skill three. We're dwarves. Four. We're weapon skill four. And you're four on weapon skill four? Well. Yeah. Lovely, we're hitting on fours. Oh, we only get two hits. That's not amazing. We're strength three, you're toughness three. We're wounding on fours. A single wound, sir, and you will get your full four up armor save against it. Four up. No, we do kill one. All right, so let's do some combat res, my friend. We'll do you first. So you got three wounds because of the overkill in the challenge. Um, and you have two ranks and a standard. I got two wounds. I have three ranks, a standard, and I outnumber you. I am winning by one, sir. Mm. So... What is the leadership of your general? Nine. Leadership nine, down to leadership eight. All right. All right. Good go luck, it. sir. Leadership eight. Do they hold? A yes. seven, they do. They hold. Scared by the six. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Very important there, sir. Very important. Um, ugh, ugh, that could have, been, could have been better, but it also could have been much, much worse. So, uh, oh boy. I'll fix that up in a minute. Um, let's come over here, my friend. Yep, onto, so, the, onto the warriors. Indeed, the warriors. And I'll get in tight on this one. The warriors, the, the, the sorcerer, and the unit of Gromril clad dwarven iron breakers. So cool. Um, does your sorcerer or unit champion want to declare um, a challenge? The champion will. The champion will declare a challenge. Fabulous. Um, I will accept with someone. Hmm, who? With my unit champion. Yeah, All right. champion, champion versus champions. champion. Indeed, the duel of the champions. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Well, you charged, sir, so you get to attack first. All right. And also we are slow, slow dwarves. And weapon skill five. Very good, to weapon skill five. So hitting on fours. Uh, we roll that one because it's... No, I'll get, look, it looks like it's more of a five. I'll give you right. that, my friend. Um, so two hits. Two hits. Very good. Strength four to toughness four. Wounding on fours. Nope, two twos. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, my champion, the Iron Beard, as he is called, will strike back. Hitting on fours. Getting one hit. Strength four to toughness four. So wounding on fours. No wounds. All right. Well, they're just, they're equally matched. They're yeah. swinging and clanging, but no wounds are done. Um, all right. So then you can just swing away with the rest of your peeps. Yep. Uh, so then I'll have in the front just two warriors and the wizard. Indeed, sir. Now you can, with this warrior, you can direct an attack into my battle standard bearer or into the unit. Um, with this warrior, you can direct attack into my, into my general. In fact, it must go into the general. Okay. Um, um, actually, we would have moved those two, so he could go into the general or the unit. So either you can put you guys into my characters or uh, into my unit. Into unit. So yeah. one thing, um, he has a four up armor save and then a five up ward, whereas these guys are going to have a two up armor save in combat. Oh, okay. So that does change things. indeed, you might be better off throwing attacks yeah, if you can into, into the, the battle standard bearer. Yeah, battle standard. Indeed. So all right, so one attack coming into the battle standard bearer on a four. You do yeah. hit him. You wound him on a four. No oh. wound. All right. And then one, um, uh, you one probably... warrior into the unit. Into the yeah. unit. Indeed. Hitting. Yes. Wounding on a four. Wounding. Yes. I'll have a two up armor save. Oh, no, wait. Not a two up. Sorry. So your strength four. Strength four, yep. So I will have a three up armor save for Gromril shield and hand weapon. Three up armor save. Does the Gromril save a dwarven life? It does. We raise the shield. It clangs off. And then Ar Arturamund? Uh, Ar Alturamund. Alturamund. The sorcerer. Indeed, um, sir. He only gets one attack. One attack. Hitting on a four. Unfortunately, but he's still got a good stat line. He misses. He misses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming he doesn't have weapon skill above five, right? No, he's no. weapon skill uh, four. Very good. All no, right. He's five, sorry. Oh, he is five. He's well, there five. you go. That's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. All right, I'm going to attack you back, sir. Um, and firstly, I will do my battle standard bearer, who has two attack space. Is it two? No, sorry. He'd have three attack space. Um, he is weapon skill uh, six, so he is going to be hidden back on threes. Yeah. Oh, he gets all three hits. He has a runic hand weapon with the rune of cleaving, giving him strength five base. So he is wounding on threes. Oh, wow. He gets all three Ooh. wounds. Oh, boy. Um, so, sir, you have heavy armor shield hand weapon. Yep. So that gives you a three up armor save in combat. So it goes to a five up, sir. Three five up armor saves. 
No, oh. we fail all of them. Ouch. So Jesus, Thane Thorin just carves down three Chaos Warriors with his glowing runic axe. Just bam, bam, bam. Um, and then we'll go, we'll do the general last. We'll just go the rest of my regular Iron Breakers, of which there will be three. Three Iron Breakers hitting on fours, getting two hits, wounding on fours, getting no wounds. Mm, very good. Okay, and then Boric. Boric Thunderbrow Thorixen with his great axe is going to come swinging in. He is weapon skill seven. He's hitting on threes. Very good, getting three hits. He is strength six with that great axe. He's wounded on twos. He gets all three of them, sir. You'll have six up armor saves against those. All right, here we go. Ah, None no, of none of them. He just hews through three, three chaos warriors. Oh, brutal, brutal stuff with the iron breakers. Um, okay. Um, so that is it. Oh, oh, that was that was nasty. So how many kills do we get there? Six. Uh, six. Yep. Looks like six. So six chaos warriors were killed. Um, we have three ranks and a banner with the rune of battle on it. Um, you and we outnumber you. You had two ranks and a banner. I think I've lost. I, th <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think you may have two, Dwayne. Um, so four, eight, nine. So you're losing by nine. Is he leadership? Nine. Nine. Yep. So yes, they are breaking automatically, sir. Um, so I hmm, do I chase? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Okay, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not chasing. I'm not chasing. I'm going to test to restrain on a leadership ten. Okay, so we restrain. So we're not chasing you, my friend. <laughs> just we're just not not chasing you down. All right, All right so you break from combat. Go. Five inches. Five inches forward. Um, so everything within six is going to need to take a panic check. Yep. Um, so and that does happen before units get moved. Okay. So let's let's do some panic checks, my friend. So and them first. Them first. The leadership. Leadership of the champion of the. The general. General. Yes, the blind prince. Leadership. Yeah, leadership nine. Leadership nine. They're okay, yep. they're okay. Five flashed up there for a second, that was scary. <laughs> um, they would also be within 12 inches, so leadership yep. nine. They're okay as well. Very good, very and then good. They're gonna have to test, even if they're up, they're not even close enough, are they? No, 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 they're fine. Okay, so they will break from combat and run five inches away, sir. Ending up right there. Okay, oof. Oh, big swing in the middle over here. Very lucky for me finding out that that, that spell yeah. didn't affect them. Because if it did, I oh, forgot mate. to read the last line of it. Mate, so close. <laughs> it was, oh, mate. So that was pretty lucky. I managed to hold through all of the charges. We, we took this one on the chin and we did win one of them. That was pretty lucky for dwarves. Pretty lucky indeed. Um, but that is it. That is the end of Hordes of Chaos. Turn to dwarves turn three charges to declare before i go into that something worth mentioning is after that like after we just did that whole turn i we did realize that rather than being like oh we'll just pick a different spell to cast we easily could have just changed target onto the onto the iron breakers which definitely would have been the right choice we, we talked about it and we've decided not to retcon the entire... No, I'm not going to go through the whole combat again. Indeed, we're not retconning the whole combat phase. We are just... We're, we're, we're dealing with it. We're sticking with how it is. It was my mistake. Ah, look, mate, it happens. It's, you know, it's your second proper game. But yes, had I thought about it, I absolutely would have allowed that to happen and I would not have had any problem with it. Unfortunately, we only thought about it once we got to this point. So my apologies, Dwayne. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll have to make the best with what I got now. Indeed, my friend. All right. So charges to declare. I've got a couple of them. My my iron breakers are going to charge the flank of the um, the the general's unit, um, and my warriors are going to charge the front of the marauders. So um, we, they will be in range to be able to do that. So that will proc a panic check for the general's unit because they are engaged in the front and being charged in the flank. So it will be a leadership nine panic check for them, sir. All right, here we go. They say, yep, okay, fine. good, I'm really glad. I really <laughs> didn't want that to happen right now. That would have just salted this wound way too much. Um, so, so that is it. Um, we will be back with remaining moves. So this is where everything is now. And this is where everything ends up. All right, my units made their charges. 
boom into the flank, boom into the front. My gyrocopter, realizing that this guy's gonna take a bit of time getting another cannonball there, has zipped over to here to do its dirty work on those demonettes. So that is it, and that is my only bit of shooting phase left. So let's figure out how many of these demonic ladies are getting smashed. All right, the little copter boy has flown over. He's charging the steam powered, you know, explosive little shrapnel cannon and he's pumping it out there. We have six fully covered and two in the maybe pile coming into the pool on fours. Very good, one of them comes in. Um, so it is strength three to toughness three. So these are wounding these demonets on fours. Oh, that's Ooh, a big roll. That's oh hard. boy, oh boy. That looks like five, sir. It's another five. five. five ups. Indeed, five up demon saves. No. Oh, mate, <laughs> none of them, oof. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, that was a lot of shrapnel. A lot of shrapnel just went through those poor little demon ladies. Ugh, ouch, 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 ouch. left. <laughs> Only three left, God. Are they immune to panic? They are, yeah. They are, fantastic. Very good, so they are not worrying about their, their lovely ladies. <laughs> their friends, they're not really friends. <laughs> um, cool, all right, so then it is combat phase time, sir, and it is charges first. So, um, you know what, we'll sweep, we'll sweep around this way. So we'll start over here with the, uh, the unit of warriors. The warriors with the great weapons slamming into the, uh, the marauders, the marauders with the flails. Now, do you have a champion in there? I do. Very good. My dwarven veteran will, uh, you know, spit and curse and throw out a dwarven challenge. Do you accept? He does accept. Excellent. Epic. I love it, sir. So I am a dwarven veteran, so I get two attacks. We are weapon skill four to weapon skill four marauders. Yep. Beautiful. So we're hitting you on fours. Ooh, I do get them both. Amazing. We are strength five to your toughness three. So this will just kill him on a three because you've got no shield. It's just light armor. So three plus to kill. And we do with a single point of overkill for the challenge. Oh, it was the snaky boy. Yep. The, the, the <laughs> snaky boy goes down. There he is. Oh, God, he's gross. Look at that. <laughs> um, so yes, he will be worth two, my friend. Um, all right, and then it'll just be the remaining dwarves. So the other four dwarves coming in on fours. Ooh, yes, getting the statistics, getting the average there. Um, and strength five to toughness three, killing on threes. Or just one, one more of them goes down, my friend. Um, cool, so that looks like you will still have four of them attacking back, my friend. Four marauders, weapon skill four. Beautiful, hitting on fours. Oh, you oh, get them all! Oh. God damn! <laughs> and it's plus two strength? Plus two strength, so strength five. Strength five, so winning on threes, sir. In fact, killing on threes. Oh, oh mate, just the <laughs> one! Ah, oh, that was brutal. Ouch. Um, okay, unlucky, my friend. Bad dice. I mean, good starting roll, but the second roll definitely hurt you. Ouch. So, I got three points for combat kill. For combat kill, combat res. Three wounds. Um, I have... Three ranks, a banner, and outnumber. You still have a rank, or you had a rank at the start. No banner, but you did get a kill. Yeah. So you are losing by six, sir. Um, are you within 12 inches of your general? It looks like you are. Yes, yes, sir. yes for sure, easy. Um, so, losing by six from leadership nine makes your leadership three. Leadership Maybe three to stay, my friend. Ah, oh, <laughs> four! Ridiculous! So close. So close. Um, well, look, I will chase you, my friend. Um, now, they're not in range of anything to cause a panic check, so we'll just resolve this now. So, you are going to run 2d6, and I will chase you 2d6 minus 1, because little dwarven legs. Want to see a big roll here? Five. Five. <laughs> we need to see a six on these two dice to catch them. Ha! And sure enough, we go seven inches. They are destroyed. They'll be removed. And we'll be going at seven inches forward. Ending up right there. All right. Oh, man. It's, it's going pretty well for the dwarves at this point. That's rough. Jesus, God. <laughs> um, okay. So now we've got this unit slamming into the flank of the marauders. So, uh, this is looking, this is looking nasty. All right, so let's do it. It's going to be Thane Thorin first. He's got three attacks, hidden on threes, and then wounding on threes. Um, twos, actually, because he's strength five. Um, so two wounds there, sir, um, and you will have two six-up armor saves against them. Oh, 
Oh my Ooh, god. Look at that! <laughs> now I'm getting all alive. Hell yeah, that's where it's at, bro. Well done. Then it's gonna be four attacks from the regular iron breakers, because there's uh, three of them in, in, in base contact, and one of them is the iron beard, and they are hitting on threes for weapon skill five. Very nice. Wounding on threes, because they're strength four base. That is three wounds, sir, and that will be three five-up armor saves for light armor, shields, and hand weapons. None of them. Oof. So three men do go down to the hammers and blades of the iron breakers. Um, okay, and then it's it's time for my general. It's time for the general. He is going first. He has four attacks, um, and he is hitting on threes. Oh, <laughs> he misses half of them. All right, come on, Boric. Um, and he will just be killing on twos. Ah, just one. <laughs> Boric manages to hew a single, a single man down with his great axe. Um, cool, that is the flanking unit done. That comes on to here. Um, again, would you like to declare a challenge? Yes. Very good. I will accept because I must. Um, and I do get to attack first because I have the master rune of swiftness. Um, so I've got three attacks. Um, I am hitting you on fours. <laughs> um, you can attack me, mate. I didn't declare who I was challenging with. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You didn't. Who no, are you going to challenge I was going to do it with my general, but... You were going to? I, yeah. was, I was assuming you were. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, if you were assuming... Yeah, well, it was definitely going to be him. I thought so. Okay. All right, sweet. So, yes, um, swing away with your general, mate. Okay. I um, absolutely figured you would. Yeah. But my apologies. I jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> All right. Five attacks, weapon skill eight, and hitting on twos. Hit well. yeah, yeah, yep, so you hit them all. Strength five. Indeed, to toughness four. So you're just killing him on threes here, sir. And you do, uh, you put one extra point of overkill on him, so he is worth three. The Dragon Slayer, Skaggy Dragon's Bane, goes down to, to the Blind Prince. Cuts him down furiously, very nice. Um, cool. I am only initiative three with my yep. dwarves. I'm assuming that you're more than that? I think the marauders are initiative four, maybe? They might be three. They're four. Sweet. Yep. Your marauders are going first then, my friend. All right. It's going to be five attacks hitting on fours. Weapon skill four to weapon yep. skill four. Getting two, two hits um, and winning on fives. Get a single wound and a single kill because they have no armor, sir. Boom, you kill one. Very nice. So that will just leave me with three dwarves attacking you. They have two attacks apiece because they've got double hand weapons. Um, and so they will be hitting on fours. Very good. Getting three hits. That is the average. And wounding on fours. Getting two wounds, sir. No armor penetration on these. So two four up armor saves. Oh, oh no. saving <laughs> neither, mate. So two of them two go down. down. Oh, that's a big combat res for the dwarves. Yeah. All right, I got six kills. Um, I have three ranks. I have a banner with the rune of battle on it. I outnumber you. And I have a flank charge. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, you got four wounds in total, three for the challenge and one man killed. Um, you don't get rank bonuses because I'm breaking your ranks with the flank charge. You do have a banner. Two, four, six, eight. So you are running automatically, sir, because leadership nine is reduced by eight to one. Oh boy, okay. Well, um, my general's unit will test to restrain and, and the, the slayers are gonna try and chase you. So general's unit testing to restrain. They do, they will restrain. It's the second restrain they've got off. And my slayers will chase you, sir. So you're, you will run first. Um, still away from the, the, the biggest unit. So yeah, exactly, in a diagonal. 2d6, running away. Getting a seven, getting a seven. So I need to see an eight on these 2d6 to catch them. Do the slayers sprint forward to, you know, to, to what is it? To, to avenge, to avenge their unit champion, the giant slayer and the dragon slayer that truly led them. Needing an eight. Oh, and I oh, get no. the eight. Ah, oh, mate. So the unit's destroyed. The general is cut down as he turns to flee. Ah, brutal, brutal. All right. And these guys will be moving at seven inches forward. Ending up just there at the foot of the hill. Ready to charge the cannon, I guess, or get charged by that spawn. Um, there they are. There it is. 
Um, oh God, this is, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. This feels so bad. This feels so bad. And all because, not all because, but it just, everything could have been different with that spell. I think it was the spell, yeah. Mate, it's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. But look, we're, we've, we've gone, we've come this far. Yeah. We're playing, we're playing the game. <laughs> I'll get it on the right target next time. That's it, mate. Jesus God. All right, let's come down to this combat. Um, you will definitely be going first because I'm yep. initiative two. Nice. Same weapon uh, skill and weapon strength. Weapon skill five. Yep. yep. Hitting on fours. Oh, sorry, no threes. Threes. Nope, that was a three. Indeed. So you miss one. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> um, cool. Strength five means wounding on threes, sir. Uh... Oh, and you miss one again. one again. Oh, solid dice there, mate. The knights are doing the work. Is that five? Yep, that's five. Looks like five. Strength five makes my three up go to five up armor saves. I save two, but three dwarves do go down. Um, okay. And then your horses, Those my hits. friend. Yep, five attacks. Uh, what's their weapon skill? Yeah. Three. Yeah, very good. So fours, so you get three hits, my friend. Yep. And wounding on fours, because you have strength four strength mounts. Four, yep. No. no wounds from the horses. Um, okay, so I will have my my unit champion um, and two guys. I oh, know one guy in the front because he killed three. So we are hitting on fours. Very good. We are wounding on fives. I get a single wound. You'll have a two up armor save against it, sir. Yes, yep. yes, save it. Very good. All right. So you got three wounds and you have a banner. Um, I had two ranks and a banner and outnumber. So it is again another stalemate, my friend. Another draw. Indeed, another draw. But that is it. That's, that's the end of the turn. It was a brutal one for the dwarves. Um, yeah, look, where the dwarves are in a position to win at this point. But it still just comes down to who is on the point. And at the moment, it's the dwarves, but that all yep. could change. The so, can change that. indeed, my friend. So, that is it. That is the end of dwarves. Turn three. Hordes of Chaos, turn three. Charges to declare, and at this point, I don't think we have any. Um, the, the demonettes don't have arc on anybody, so, and they're fleeing, and that thing doesn't charge per se, so no charges. So we go to Rally Fleeing Troops, sir. Yep. Leadership eight for the Sorcerer, but nine because of the, oh, very good. That scared me for a second. <laughs> because of the uh, the musician. So they do they rally. Yep. They can do, they can turn on the spot or go wherever they'd like. Um, we'll do that in remaining moves. So now it's compulsories. What do you want to do with the spawn, sir? Uh, the spawn's going to move that way. So ah, we'll going to hit the flank. An angle to hit the flank of them. Very yeah. good, sir. Um, sweet. He's gone 3d6 straight towards the flank of those dwarves. And that'll be enough. That'll yeah. definitely be enough. So he'll be slamming into the flank. Getting in with his filthy little face. Look at him. Look at him. He's so we gross. Need to snack on some dwarves. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, very nice. Um, cool. So that just brings us to remaining moves. So this is where everything is now. And this is where everything ends up. Now, we do need to do some things before this spawn actually hits my side. So as soon as the spawn, you know, it is determined that it's within range to hit something, it counts as charging. So that would proc two psychology checks here. A panic check because I'm being hit in the flank while engaged in the front and a fear test to see if I succumb to the fear of the, the big slavering beast. So let's start with the panic check because that would be the first thing that really happens. They might run away. So uh, panic on leadership 10 from the general. They're okay. Now, are they scared of the great serpent? They're not. All right, cool. Game state restored. Right. This little bad boy <laughs> smashes into the flank. Excellent. And then, yeah, everything else has just kind of done some stuff. The, the, the exalted demon has zipped his way out from, you know, cleaning his claws over there um, into threat range of everything because 20 inches. Um, the demonettes that have been getting continually harried and slowed by the gyrocopter are just pushing their way up. These guys reformed and that's it. So we have another magic face, sir, yes. and let's let's get it right. right. <laughs> Cause oh boy. Oh, I still feel so horrific about that. But look, well, this is where it is, people. I'm sorry. Flame me in the comments. I know you will, so let's do it. Um so well, all right. <laughs> thanks, Dwayne. Um what do you want to do with him this round, mate? Alright, what do I want to do? Um I think I'm gonna go with titillating delusions. 
Okay. On them. Very good. We're going, is this to attempt to pull them away it's from the, the objective? Moves things, yeah. Very good. All right, my friend. Uh, what do you need to cast it? Um, so I need an eight plus. And if I'm successful, I designate, oh, do I designate first or do I, I think it's after I cast it. Okay, okay beautiful. Cast on so an eight plus. looking to cast it on an eight plus to potentially pull a unit out of position. Bring three dice at it. All right. Good luck and Godspeed. Ah, oh, very good. That's, that's high dice. Yep. That's 11, 12, 13. 13, sir. All right. Well, I'm going to throw my four to try and stop it. Hooah! And I do. I stop it on a 14, my friend. Okay. No, no spell, no magic this round. Um, cool. Well, there is no shooting phase because that cannon is attempting to reload Out currently. So it's combat. It's just down here. And it is the serpent charging first, my friend. So he gets d6 plus one attacks. Yes. Very good. Let's see it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I can reroll that. Nah, that's a five. That's a five for sure, yeah. my friend. Take it. Take Better it. Better stop rolling onto terrain. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Six attacks. Six attacks. Very good. Uh, weapon skill four? Weapon skill three. So hitting on fours, sir. You're still rolling exceptionally high, getting four hits. Well, oh, in, I missed sir. The dice. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah, that's right. Get it out of here. <laughs> four hits, my friend. Yep. Strength four? Uh, yes. Very good. Wounding on fours. Getting a Just single wound. A single wound. Um, it negatives my three up armor save by one. So a four up save? I save it. Amazing. All right, and um, the knights. Yes, then the knights, sir. Uh, so again, it will be three, six four, attacks. five, six, seven, eight, oh, no. nine, ten, eleven. A lot more than six. I was thinking if they just won't attack you. <laughs> Indeed. No. Um, three for the champion and two for everyone else. Yeah. Eleven attacks coming in on threes. That's a lot of twos. Oh my god. <laughs> They've whiffed. They've whiffed at last. Um, woof. Okay. And then wounding on threes, sir. Still getting five hits of the bunch. Wow, very good. Four. Getting four of them, sir. Not so bad. Indeed, not so bad. Four five up armor saves. Ooh, I don't save any this time. That's a big deal. Boom, boom, killing four dwarves. And then the horses coming in on fours. Um, two. Yep. Looks like two, my friend. And then wounding on fours. One wow. wound at a four up armor save. And I do save it. Lucky, lucky. Um, all right, so I'll only have the single Dwarven uh, champion coming into the front, hitting on fours. No, nah, very good. Um, and did he? He didn't kill any. So two no. Dwarves, although you did kill a guy from the front. So a single Dwarf coming into the side. Oh no, sorry, two. This guy would move over. Yep. Two Dwarves coming into the Great Serpent, the Golden Serpent, hitting him on, um, he's weapon skill three, yeah? Yeah. We hit him on threes. We do hit him twice. But he's toughness, toughness five. five, so wounding on sixes. Oh, I get one. one. Amazing. No, save. Very good. How many wounds, wounds does he have? Got three wounds total, so he's down to two. Two wounds remaining for the serpent. Excellent. Um, cool. All right, let's do some combat res. I think you got me this time, my friend. So you got four wounds and a flank charge and a banner. You maybe are outnumbering me now as well. Oh, you maybe were outnumbering me before. So this is. What, 10? Yeah, they're worth 10 now. 10, and what's he's he? Worth, I think he's worth three, I can double check. I think he is worth three, so that's 13. Um, so, you outnumber me as well. Um, I still had two ranks, a banner, and I got a single wound on you, sir. So I am losing by three. Generals nearby, as well as the battle standard bearer, so leadership 10 goes down to leadership seven. Rerollable. Here we go, Hooah! and we get it on the first roll. Excellent, they're gonna stick around. The bravest of dwarves, they're holding their ground. <laughs> Hell yeah, boys, Holding love the line. work. Indeed, hold the line for the Dawi, the shield wall, hey? <laughs> um, cool, um, I think that's it, right? Yeah, Yeah. that is it. So we go on to dwarf turn four, but that is it. That is the end of Hordes of Chaos, turn three. Dwarves turn four, potentially the last Dwarven turn of the game, because at the end of Hordes of Chaos turn four, we're gonna roll a dice. And on a roll of one, the game is just over. So, you know, I can't be banking too much on future events, because there's a one in six chance. This is the last turn that I'm gonna have here. So, 
charges to declare. I have ummed and ahed a bunch about these slayers charging that cannon. Because we charge the cannon, we're going to kill it. Lovely, cannon's gone. But, you know, that only helps me so much. Um, whereas if I just reform, it means, you know, if these guys can't just keep holding forever, <laughs> they definitely can't. If I just turn around, we are potentially, you know, over the next couple of turns, if there are turns to come, going to be able to potentially partake in the rest of the game. Whereas if I charge there, yes, I kill it. Turn five, I'm turning on the spot. Turn six, if there's something in charge range, they'll charge, but all of that is pretty unlikely. So I'm not gonna charge it on the, the off chance that, that I, you know, that there is more of a game, I want them in it. So I think I'm gonna try to deal with that with my gyrocopter. Gyrocopter is gonna abandon this side of the table and zip back over there. Also just getting the hell away from that demon prince. Not demon prince, I do this every time. <laughs> what is he, exalted? Yeah, exalted He's demon. an exalted demon. Um, Cause right now that exalted demon could just charge him and then it's dying. You know, as soon as he fails combat, um, which he will, it crashes and burns. So <laughs> I don't really want him to do that. So, so no charges. I don't have any charges to declare because I don't think I have any to do. So we go on to remaining moves. So this is where everything is now. And this is where everything ends up. All right, the, uh, the, the Slayers have just reformed, looking at the fight over here. General's unit did a big old wheel around the point, staying on it so that they are the unit doing the thing. Again, just looking over towards this fight because, you know, there's only so much time these guys can hold. Um, the unit of warriors in the back line there did a full reform facing the Chaos Warriors for potential turn five charges. Um, and the gyrocopter just zipped its way over attempting to put the nail in the coffin of that cannon. And that is what we're doing. So I do have that one crew fully covered. So it's a 50-50 roll to finish it off. On a four plus, the, uh, the, the gyrocopter finishes the cannon. The steam-powered gun shoots out and... No! Yes! <laughs> and clatters over him, not killing the cannon, damn it! <laughs> um, so, that is shooting phase done. All that remains is combat phase, sir. So, right. let's make it happen. Um, it is going to be... Uh, the knights first. The knights first, definitely. So again, it'll be 11 attacks. 11 attacks coming in at threes to hit. Oh, one miss. One miss. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God. And threes to wound. God, 10 hits coming through and a staggering amount um, of wounds. Only two missing misses. two of them. Jesus God. Yep. Okay. This is the, this is the end. This eight. is the end for sure. How many? Eight? eight saves. Yep. Eight saves. Eight saves of five up. I need to see some some Dwayne rolls here. <laughs> I need to see a big spike. Oh, oh and I'm, oh, I get three. <laughs> I saw a bunch, but no, five of them do just get killed. Oh God, that hurts. That hurts real bad. Um, lovely. What is the initiative of your yeah yeah your sneaky uh, man? The mounts, I think, are hitting. Oh yes, of course, the mounts. Uh, what's the initiative of the dwarves? Two. Two. Okay, that's going to hit at the same time as the spawn. Um, uh, so there is no same time. You won the combat last time, oh, so okay. he'll be going first. Oh, all right. Well, then it'll be the horses, then the spawn. Indeed, sir. So horses coming in on fours, getting three. Very nice. And wounding on fours. Getting two. two. Four up armor saves. I save one of them, but you kill yet another noble Darwi. And then D6 attacks from the spawn. D6 plus one. D6 plus one, yep. He's like a scythe chariot. Oh, there is. <laughs> just the two hitting on fours. Getting one, uh, wounding on fours. No, no, no wounds. He's tired, um, he's all tuck it out. Indeed he is, sir. <laughs> well, you killed the front rank. I do have a champion here who still does get to attack. Um, and he's gonna throw his attacks into the knights because he must, on fours, gets them both. And fives, gets neither, lame. Okay, this is where they run, absolutely. So you got how many? Six wounds. Six? No. Yes, six. Uh, yeah. Six wounds. You outnumber me. You have a flank and a banner. Um, I had a single rank. I have a banner and that is all. <laughs> so I am losing by seven. I have leadership 10, which means it goes down to leadership three. Leadership three, re-rollable. 
can they hold in the most unlikely of moments after being butchered by chosen knights and a slavering bad boy in their side? Three! No, definitely that is not. definitely an 11. <laughs> that is an 11. However, we have a battle standard bearer reroll looking for three! And sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, their nerve yeah, they're nerve breaks. They're sticking around today. Those, uh, so they are running 2d6 minus one because of short little legs away from the unit with the highest unit strength, which is the knights. So directly away this way. Um, uh, it is going to be, uh, are you going to chase? Who's um, chasing? The spawn's going to chase. The knights are going to try and restrain. Ooh, very good. All right, well, let's see the restrain, sir, on leadership, something um, decent. Their leadership, eight. Very good, leadership, eight. No, they're no. bloodthirsty. <laughs> they want to ride them down. They're murderous. Indeed. All right. The dwarves are running. Wow. A whopping oh. 10 inches away. I don't know if they can even catch them. Wow. You are running 3d6, uh, my friend. Yeah, so who, you, them. who are we going for? Um, the knights. The knights first? Yeah. Knights first. Need to see a 10 on the dice. And sure enough, they do. They see an 11. These boys are cut down. Whoa. Boom. Okay. Now, wait. Hang on, Megan. I've definitely moved units to within panic range. Oh. Have I? No, I no, have just not. Out. Just out. Um, lovely, no panic. So they're removed. And then for the spawn as well, 3d6. Yep. Spawn's going to go. Um, just, what is that? That's seven. seven for the spawn. All right. Ending up like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, so that is it. That's my turn done. Um, everything's facing in a weird direction. <laughs> I didn't kill the cannon, uh oh. <laughs> but that is it. That is the end of Dwarves. Turn four. Hordes of Chaos, turn four, potential last turn of the game. Charges to declare. What are we doing, Dwayne? Yep, uh, the Warriors, now that they've reformed, are gonna be charging uh, this unit here. This Indeed, unit of Warriors. we checked the arc. They can just, just barely see make them. it in. Indeed. Yep. Uh, the Exalted Demon's gonna join them and charge all the way in. Fantastic. The demonettes might be out of range, but they're going to try and charge into their back. Ooh, very good. Um, all right, well, look, let's just check the range for this, because once they have, um, once we've established that they are in range, I need to give you a panic check, sir. Yeah. A terror check. So let's just um, check the range on him. Definitely in range. So that will be a panic check for those warriors. Um, it looks like the general's leadership is just out of range. So it's going to be leadership nine. <laughs> insane bravery, as it were. <laughs> they have to be insane to just cop Staring a charge. In the face of a demon. Indeed, sir. Um, so charge, charge charge yep. and um, they cause fear should we check them as well if they're ooh, in? yeah okay yeah. i mean yeah measure it let's have yeah. a look let's see if they're in range with wheeling i don't think they'll be able to make it in no unfortunately not so it will be a fail charge for them no fear check for the iron breakers um so now we do compulsories let's do yep. a compulsory move for the uh the, the golden uh, serpent Spawn's gonna just move this this way beautiful yes yeah, straight towards that dice um and he will be moving at 3d6 for a nine. nine, sir. Nine inches towards the dice. Landing right there. Um, cool. So that brings us to remaining moves. So this is where everything is now. And this is where everything ends up. All right, Damon, give us a little wrap up here. So I said Damon again. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm sorry, mate. Dwayne, please give um, us a little wrap up, my friend. Uh, so we've charged in with the Exalted Demon and the... Uh, the warriors, indeed. The dwarf warriors. Look at them down there. Failed the charge over here with the demonettes. They were just out. Yeah, indeed um, they were. Everything else has moved around a little bit. The spawns wiggled his way up, and the, the knights have moved in to contest the objective. Indeed they have, sir. Indeed they have. Um, although, so if you wanted to contest the objective, you need to be equidistant to me. So you need oh, to be a little so closer. So I mean, you had the movement, you yeah. easily could have. Okay. So yes, there we go. Now contesting the objective. Move over a tiny bit. Yep. Um, cool. So that is movement phase done. It's shooting phase um, time. Magic first, because I still got a wizard. Oh, you do. I'm, I'm sorry. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, sir. Um, cool. What do you want to cast? Um, I think there's not much he can cast. He can cast the one that freezes, and it'll actually work this time. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Spasms, yep, he'll try and cast that on the warriors. On the warriors to freeze them in combat so they yep. cannot fight. All right, so what do you need for it? 10 plus. 10 plus, 3d6, good luck. No. No, <laughs> no spell out. this one, mate, ouch. Um, cool, so that is that done. Um, now no, it's shooting phase. Yes. 
Now it's time for the cannon, and the cannon is trying to smash a line right through down. the Slayers, through the Iron Breakers, going straight towards this point right here. Yep. And we've guessed a single inch. Just a one inch <laughs> shot, they're going to drop it right out the barrel. Hell yeah they are. Alright, so <laughs> let's see that artillery dice. How much further does it go? Six. Six. So we're going seven inches out of the tube. Is it hitting one? I think it's just going to miss. It's going to be just off. Alright, so it's currently landing right, right in between. Alright, and then how much further does it go? So it's landing there and it bounces. No! no. <laughs> No. Right in the dead. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Unbelievable. The Slayers just duck as it goes right over. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about like oh. narratively what's happening here with the Slayers, and they're just like mooning this cannon. They're doing the, the classic <laughs> Scottish moon. They're dropping dax and be like, "Go on, you can't hit us with it, can you, mate?" And then, <laughs> sure enough, they can't. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Ah, uh, look, at least it's had at least a moment of glory yeah, in the game. it's managed to take out an opposing piece. Exactly, yeah. but oh man, two misfires <laughs> of it just thudding into the earth. Ridiculous. All right, it is combat phase, sir. Yes. It's time for the great charges over here. The incredible combat of the warriors and the exalted demon into the poor, poor little warriors. Yes. <laughs> okay, my friend. Um, firstly, I'll do you want to declare? Demon, Indeed you will. Would um, you like to declare any challenges? Who's there to declare on? Just a unit champion? Just a unit champion. Um, I'll declare one with my unit champion against yours. Very good, sir. I will accept. Um, so let's just do the challenge first, because yes. it's the most epic. Let's do the challenge. So the Chaos Warrior Champion yes. versus the Dwarven Veteran. Weapon skill five. To weapon skill four. So hitting me on threes, sir. Uh, getting okay. them both. Wow. Strength four. To toughness four. Wounding on fours. Both of them. Lame. <laughs> I'll have two six up armor saves, because all we have is heavy armor, and that is reduced by one from five up to six up. I need two sixes for that man to live, for that great dwarf. Does the Chaos Blade cling off the Dwarven Ring Mail? <laughs> sure enough, it does not. <laughs> um, all right, so he is dead. You want to pull out my little, uh, it's the, the guy from the front the, with the hammer. Here, yeah, that's yeah. the guy, that's the guy. Beautiful, you slay him. Him, him. Indeed you do. Um, sweet, so now it will be the Demon Prince, my friend. Yep. Ah, again, the exalted, the exalted demon. demon. Very good. All right, tell me what's he got, um, what's he do? Uh, he's got... Four attacks, uh, weapon skill seven. All right, here he goes. Four attacks, weapon skill seven, hitting on threes. Two. Hitting two. All right, only half of them, bagger. What strength he does he have? Strength five. Very good. He is killing on threes. He kills a single Just dwarf. A dwarf. <laughs> and normal dwarf falls, if you want to pull one off the back for me, my friend. Lovely. And then um, the remaining attacks from your warriors slash your yep, sorcerer. Two warriors and then a sorcerer. Very good, sir. Two warriors, hitting on threes. Getting One. a single hit, wounding on falls, getting a wound. Um, a six up armor save. Uh, no, the three does not do it. Another one falls. Uh oh. Um, and then the sorcerer, sir. Yep. He only gets the one attack, unfortunately. Yep, but weapon skill five? Yep. Hitting on threes. No, weapon skill, yeah, five. Yep, very good. <laughs> hitting on threes. He hits, he wounds strength four on yep. fours. Ah, he gets it. Look at you with your four ups. Six up armor save. I make none of them. Another man falls. All right, that will leave me with a single man to attack in the front. Lame. Um, I'll attack a Chaos Warrior because that seems like the way to the do most this. most likely one you'll get. Indeed. <laughs> we hit him on a four. Yes. We are strength five. We wound him on a three. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> um, crap. Okay, sir. So, you've got five wounds for overkill. Like, yep. uh, so th four kills, but one point of overkill in the challenge. Um, and you have a banner. I think that's it. Yeah. Yes. I have three ranks, a banner, and outnumber. I am losing by one. Losing by one, sir. So we are leadership nine down to leadership eight. And I don't think the general or the battle standard bearer is in range. 12 inches, it does not look like it. So we need an eight to hold. An eight to hold. Dwarven warriors. Yes, and we do. We hold. Lovely. Well done, boys. Um, cool. Look, that is the end of the turn. And now the roll happens, sir. Yes. So on a roll of a one, this game is a draw and you may do the honors, sir. So anything right. else, we go to turn five. Does Let's the game continue? Happens. It does, a two up comes through. So we are going on to turn five. So that is the end of Hordes of Chaos.
turn four. Dwarves turn five, no charges. The gyrocopter could charge the cannon, but that's not exactly what gyrocopters do well. So no charges. So remaining moves time, this is where everything is now. And this is where everything ends up. All right, my, uh, my unit of Gromril clad dwarves have just done a full reform facing in this direction, hoping that maybe they'll still get to play the game. We'll see. <laughs> Similarly, my, my slayers have marched their way down off the hill, just, I don't know, again, hoping that maybe they'll get to play the game. Um, Gyrocopter stayed still, slash shuffled ever so slightly, trying to make sure we're keeping that thing in full template, and that is it. So, speaking of template, it's template time. It's another 50-50 roll to see if I can kill that crew. On a four up, I do, with the steam-powered cannon, and yes, yes. I get him, yeah. boom. He is done, excellent, yes, wonderful. Um, cool, excellent, you did your job, Gyro, love that. So that is it, except for this combat phase over here, sir. We yes. have another one. I have at least, with this reform, put my unit now in Battle Standard Bearer and General Leadership Bubble. It's probably not going to help. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be your exalted yep, demon first. Indeed, sir. So, swing away. How many attacks does he have? Four. Weapon skill seven. All right, hitting on threes. Getting three of them this round. And he is strength five. Yep. So just killing on threes. Ah, ah just the just one, one again. All right, so he puts a little man just down. Yep. Very good. And then it would be your Chaos Warriors. Yep because they are more than initiative two, no doubt. Well, I've got great weapons, so I'm going last no matter what. Yeah. Um, all right. So three warriors, one's the champion. Very good, sir. Four attacks, hitting on threes. Getting three of the bunch. Very good, that is the average. And then wounding on fours. Well, you one. get a single wound, single wound. Um, and we will have a six up armor save. No, it goes through the, 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 the ring mail, the dwarven ring mail. Um, the sorcerer. The right? sorcerer, sir. Just the one attack. One attack hitting on threes. Weapon skill five, sorcerer. Hits. Strength four? Uh, yep. Wounding on fours. No, oh, he gets the wound. How dare he? And he kills a dwarf, sure enough. All right, you killed three from the front, which leaves me with two of them, sir. We're going to attack your back. Hitting on fours. Getting two hits. Wounding on threes. Getting a single wound. Damn it, I needed both <laughs> of those. Um, so you have heavy armor shield. So you've got three up, negative two, five up armor save, sir. Oh, you game. make it. God damn it, Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. All right. You killed three. Um, you have a standard. And that is it. Um, I killed nothing. I had two ranks. Do I still outnumber you? I think I do. I am still outnumbering, so sorry, I'll just start this again. You killed three, and you have a standard. Um, I had two ranks at the start. I have a standard, and I outnumber you, sir. So that is, that's a, that's a tie. That is a tie, we hold you up. We, we tie you up, we hold you up. Um, and because you're slow now, she love it. <laughs> they love getting tied up and held up. Gross. Um, so that is it. That is it. So that is the end of Dwarf's turn. We didn't do much. We held the line, which is something. Um, we've kept units, you know, around the point, but that's all we could do. So that is the end of Dwarves. Turn five. Hordes of Chaos, Slanesh. Turn five, potentially the last turn of the game. Yet again, every turn after this point is potentially the last turn of the <laughs> game. So it's going to be charges to declare. What yep, are we doing, my friend? The, one, the demonettes are going to make a charge against the uh, Ironbreakers. Fantastic. Um, measure them up. I think they're in range because um, we need to, if they're in range, I need to take a fear check. 12 inch charge. I imagine they are. They are in. Indeed, they are. So fear check. Leadership 10. We, we do not fear you, sir. Um, cool, and then it's going to be compulsory yep, moves. Spawn has to get out of the way. Indeed, He's and where's he going? He's going in the same direction. He's going to join that fight. Fantastic. Do you want him going to... Going to go towards to one of the corners. One of the corners? Um, which corner? I suppose it doesn't really matter which one because they can hit the middle. Indeed, so it will just matter whether you want him fighting rank and file or yep. characters. I think I want him fighting the rank here. and file. All right, then you want him on this corner yep, here, my friend. That corner. Beautiful. All right, how far does he go? 3d6. Oh, uh, might not be far enough. <laughs> indeed. How far is that? That's only six inches. Uh-oh. Fall just short. <laughs> Mate. Yeah, so he'll just have to stop an inch away. Yeah, he's hanging out there. Yeah, very good. Preparing. That's, <laughs> he doesn't quite make it. Just oh, no. from eating all those other dwarves. Indeed. Indeed he is. <laughs> My goodness. So, uh, it's just going to be remaining moves. This is where everything is now. And... 
This is where it all ends up. We'll just do a quick one. The knights wheeled around, staying away from the slayers. The demonettes made their charge, and that is it. That's where everything has landed. It's combat phase time. The cannon's dead. Oh, no, wait. Magic phase. You've still oh, got a magic phase, I my do. friend. Oh. Should um, we just do it now? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I keep forgetting the magic. No, of course, it's no problem, no problem. <laughs> okay, they're gonna do enrapturing spasms again on the dwarves, I guess. Okay, so enrapturing spasms coming out. Um, yeah, looking for a 10? Yep. Oh, you get it. That's gonna be enough. What is that? Um, That's 11, 13. 13. I'll try to oppose it yet again, and I do ah. strongly with great gusto. <laughs> ah, yes, the dwarven hatred of magic is coming through, people. Yep. <laughs> Lucky. Um, sweet. So now we go to the combat phase, sir. Um, yep. We start with the charges. Do you want to start down here? Yes. All right, cool. Now, do you want to put any of these attacks into the characters, or do you want to put everything into the rank and file? Uh, I think I'm going to throw them all into the rank and file. They've got the... Oh. Battle Standard Bear is probably more yeah, of a, like a, an easier target. I think so. All right, cool. And uh, what's what's the stat line of these gals? Um, Demonettes have weapon skill four, two attacks. Fantastic. All right, sir. So two attacks coming in on Thane Thorin, getting a single hit. Um, strength three. Strength four. Strength four. Yes. Very nice. Wounding on fours. No, <laughs> no wound on him. All right, and the other two going into the Iron Breakers rank and file, hitting on fours. Oh yeah, three hits. hits, solid. And wounding on fours for strength four. No <laughs> wounds, mate. Oh no, they finally made it, but they're very tired. They're very tired. They've been foot slogging yeah. a long time. Um, all right, so it looks like I can get, what, one, two, three? I can get three normal rank and file in there. Yep. Um, and one of them is an iron beard. They are hitting on threes, because weapon skill five. Their strength four, so wounding on threes. Two of them, sir. You'll get your five ups against these because yep, these aren't I magic. Have a demonic armor save. Indeed. One. You make one, one falls. All right, and then it's going to be Thane Thorin. He's mad that you tried to hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, he doesn't have four attacks. He has three attacks, hitting on threes. Ah, he's not that mad. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's blinded by rage. Um, he's strength five, so he's wounded on twos. <laughs> He misses. <laughs> he fails. Amazing. All right. It's going to have to come down to the big boss. That's annoying because that was a magic weapon too. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> um, the big boss, Boric Thunderbrow Thorixen. Look at him in there. He's ready to throw down with these great axe. He's got four attacks, hitting on threes. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's wounding on twos. No. no. <laughs> We're not even going to kill them all. Um, so you will have a five-up armor save, sir, because yes. I did get one wound. A five up ward save, I should say. Demonic ward. Demonic ward? No. no. So one he life. does cleave one. Um, all right. That is the combat done, sir. So um, I they killed. You do have to take the demonic instability test because I'm pretty sure I lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how much by. Um, so, yes, we, uh, we killed two. Uh, three ranks. Outnumber. Banner with the a rune of battle on it. So you're losing by a bunch, but your <laughs> demonic save is the first thing that happened. Oh, your demonic um, instability test. Yeah, I'll have to double check how it works again because... I, so I remember, I remember, yeah. sir. It is, um, you just do your no flat modifier. leadership yeah. first. If you fail that, you crumble and die. Um, but... By the amount I lose it by modifying. Is the wounds yeah. that you take, yes. Um, so firstly, what's their leadership? Eight. Leadership eight. Um, is the, oh, there is no general. So leadership eight, sir. Oh, very okay, nice. These, and you got it on a still be enough to kill it. four, because yes, you're losing by eight. So yeah. yes. So there's uh, enough so, to get through. So no, it does go through. They go, Fades out of reality. Indeed. The, the demonic instability Screams kicks in. And disappears. And, and off they go. <laughs> now, a unit was destroyed in close combat. That's going to proc some panic checks, my friend. Um, so these guys uh, All definitely. immune to it. Oh! Mark of Slanesh. Ah, oh, they're all immune to panic? Amazing. Immune to psychology. Excellent. Love that. Um, all right, well, sweet. Spawn is fearless, so is the demon. Fantastic. Um, all right, wonderful, wonderful. That was my chance. I was hoping they'd bail <laughs> and then... The, and the marauders are affected by that. Very good, sir. All right, it is this combat over here. Um, the one that should have been over a little while ago, but it's still going. <laughs> Stretching out a bit. Indeed, sir. So, it is demon, uh, the Style demon the first. Demon. Yep. Uh, yeah, four attacks hitting on threes. Wow. Nothing. One hit. One. one hit. Wounding on threes. Killing on threes. No! Oh my god, he's tired. <laughs> Everyone's getting worn out. <laughs> Indeed, sir. It's been a slog. All right. <laughs> then the Chaos Warriors. Uh, four yeah. attacks from the Chaos Warriors on threes. There we go. Three hits. On fours to wound. 
No worries. Oh <laughs> my on. god. The sorcerer. Alteramond. Alteramond. Last chance, yeah. Here he goes. He misses. Nothing. Oh my god. Oh, no. Wow. Not a single wound went through. All right. It's time for the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get all five attacks this round. That's pretty great. Um, I'm going to put one of them into your sorcerer and the rest just into the rank and file. So into the sorcerer, hitting on fours. I hit him. Toughness four for the sorcerer? Yep. Very good, we're wounding him on threes. I do wound him, sir. Does he have any armor? Four up. A four up armor save? That will go to a six up, sir. Six up save. We no. wound him! Yes, excellent. <laughs> we wound the filthy sorcerer. Down to one wound. wound. Yes, indeed, a single wound remaining. All right, the rest of them coming into the rank and file. Actually, I'll just put one of them into the champ, because why not? Into the champ, missing. And the rest into the other boys. On fours, getting a single hit. And threes, I do get a wound, sir. Your three up will go to a five up armor save. No, we kill one. Oh, down. Amazing, yes. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> the, the incredible strike back of the dwarves. All right, sir, so I got two wounds. Do I still have, no, I've got one rank. Um, I outnumber you? Do I outnumber yeah, you now? Yes. you still outnumber, you did, yeah, you did at the end of the last yeah, one. Yeah, so I outnumber you and I have a banner. Um, you have a banner. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. So you are losing by four. Yep. Um, so shall we do the demon first? Yeah. What is his leadership? Eight? Leadership eight. All right, does he, you need to roll his a four or under, oh no, because he's taking a wound for every point that he loses by as well. But let's firstly see if he just goes away. Is he okay? Uh, eight, he's that is. Okay, but he's gonna take some wounds. But he's gonna take four wounds because you've rolled an eight. Which is... Enough to kill enough him. Enough to kill him. Indeed. He fades out of reality. <laughs> Unbelievable, the demon goes <laughs> down. Um, so then, what is the leadership of your sorcerer? Eight? Uh, yep. Very good, so it's down to leadership four, sir. Four to stay. <gasps> they no, break. No, I will chase. Um, oh boy. <laughs> Um, so, sir, you're running 2d6 away, and I will be chasing you 2d6 minus one. Oh, you go a big <laughs> one! You go huge, mate! I need to see a double six to catch him! I don't! I go a total of six. All right, so we will be back where all of that ends up. Wow. Ending up just like that, they have run in such a way that they are avoiding enemy troops and friendly troops, slipping through this little gap here. They, they lose their standard because I've captured it, because they've broken from combat. They, they throw the standard down. Whoa. Um, cool. Now, they're still in, uh, immune to panic, so no one needs to panic. So that's the turn done. All right, we are coming down to another roll to see if the game ends. And right now, if the game ends, it is still going to be a draw. So, do you want to do this one? Yeah. You want to do it again? Very good, sir. All right, on a three up, the game continues. <gasps> One. It is a one! It is a one! And the game ends! That is the end of the game, and it ends in a draw because we have two units <laughs> equal distance. Well, all of, we have three units technically equal distance to this, and the only tiebreaker is that if one of the units is more than double the points of the other. Um, and I'm definitely not. Like, uh, what is these guys' points at the moment? Uh, at the moment. Because they lost one how guy. Much one knight was worth. All right, so their starting unit cost was 340, and a single knight is 33 points. So they're down to, you know, 310 odd. And my unit is 341 points. So I'm nowhere near double. I am more, but not double. So that is it. It ends in a draw. Um, uh, Hilarious! <laughs> a bit of a strange game type in that respect um, because like yeah to be able to not get a draw it's you know you really have to have smashed your opponent or just have a vastly superior unit on the point and that's not what happened so you know we fought to a stalemate in the end. Cool! Awesome! That is it guys! Um, what an interesting game in the end. Um, you know it was looking it was looking pretty brutal at first after turn two dwarves turn three dwarves when we smashed and broke a few units when the general ran and got cut down all of that was pretty gnarly um but in the end it was super close it was a super yep, close game bring it back. indeed mate and you've you fought it to a draw which is bloody cool bloody cool so there it is guys that is the end of the game neither army claims the prize and will limp home bloodied and bruised we'll have a bit of a chat about it in the post game see you soon 
And there it is. There it is. In the end, it is a draw, a yes. tie victory, um, or a tie defeat, as it were. <laughs> I'll take it as a victory. Yeah, very good, sir. Very good. So, so yes, neither neither army claimed the prize. Um, the battle was too hard for both sides. You know, once the the demons started evaporating, the chaos <laughs> lines were was starting to lose faith and decided to break. Similarly, the dwarves at this point had lose, lost too many dwarven too many lives. Too many of their kin. Yep, too many of their kin had fallen that they started to think that the prize was not worth the cost. <laughs> uh, and so both armies broke and left the field, expecting the other to potentially gain it, you know, and take the prize. But, but in their haste to retreat, nobody got it. It's not to be. Nobody got the thing. So. What a cool game! Yeah. What a cool game! Good game, my Good friend. Game. Good game. Yeah. That was very well played. It was um, a great game. It was. That was a lot yeah. of fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, it was obviously looking pretty, pretty one-sided at the at first, yeah. at the first, <laughs> in the, the beginning of that point where the the dwarves, you know, smashed through the unit. Um, and then smashed into the side of the Marauders with the general, the, dr the general fleeing and getting cut down by the Slayers. So sad. Ah, <laughs> it was all looking pretty grim at that point. And annoyingly, all because of a bit of a, fub, a flub around the magic phase. Uh, my mistake for not reading it correctly. Ah, mate. Didn't still. read the whole spell, I should have. <laughs> indeed, indeed. But like, and you know, it's often that there's like a, a but a or something in the final, the final yeah. line or something. It's, it's often gotta like that. Gotta read the fine that. print. That's it, mate. <laughs> you gotta read the fine print. Um, but, you know, I'm also, I am still annoyed at myself for not catching, okay. not catching the fact that we could have just changed the target. Because the, the role would have stood. Um, or you, you know, and had you read the whole line and knew the, what you should have been picking, you would have just picked the Iron Breakers, absolutely. Um, and I just didn't see that at the time, so... I'll pick them next time. That's <laughs> it, mate. That's it. That's it. Because the, the other spell that you were like, oh, look, I would have cast a different one, wouldn't have been able to be cast because yeah. it needed an 11 instead of a 10. I've forgotten what I'd rolled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we, we just decided to move on. And it was only after we'd fought the whole turn that I was like, wait, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well. So that was frustrating. Out, and indeed. And in the end, you know, because at that point I was like, I've ruined the whole game. It's all turned to shit. And now I'm just going <laughs> to smash into everything and it's and I'm going to win. And yay. <laughs> but in the end, the chaos fought back. Like, like the savage Northmen that they are. They held it together. Yeah, mate, and fought it to a stalemate and got the draw. So, so super cool, super yeah. cool that the game actually ended up being really close, close enough that nobody could win, um, even after a bit of a flub of that magic <laughs> phase, because that would have changed things drastically. Would have changed things drastically. Um, I don't know if it would have just made you, you know, be in a position to absolutely be winning. Yeah. But it wouldn't have put you in a position Might that you Might have gone you'd... similarly, just differently. Exactly. The general probably wouldn't have got slammed into the flank no. and butchered and ran. So the game would have been quite different, but, but in the end, it was still super awesome. Yeah. And a lot of fun. Definitely. A lot of fun. Um, yeah, the, it was fun bringing a bringing a dragon slayer. That was cool. He got butchered. <laughs> <laughs> got butchered in the challenge by the general. He was never kitted out to fight a chaos lord. No. Um, as soon as, yeah, no, exactly right. Exactly. I, I would have been a really interesting fight between uh, my dwarf lord yeah. and the chaos lord. If I could maneuver him into him, that would have been fun. Yeah, but unfortunately, with the way the deployment ended up, um, you know, you deployed him on the other side, yeah. and I was like, Losing okay, his chariot. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact Slowed that he lost, indeed, he lost his, his lovely mobili mobility device. Two games in a row. <laughs> Two games in a row. Someday he'll make it into combat with a mount. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I will never let him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm always so scared of his mounts. It's they scary. It, they are, man. The, the, the Steed of Slanesh with its like 10 inch move, yeah. 20 inch charge. Her is terrifying. Um, and then being mounted All on a chariot. The impact hits from the chariot. The impact hits from a chariot. The fact that when you've got a character mounted in a chariot, it goes up to unit strength five. So he's breaking yep. ranks. And absolutely, that's what you do with a chariot. You put it in a flank. I usually, do, yeah. yeah and, that was the plan. <laughs> and suddenly it's just smashing in with the impact hits. And then the general is just hewing through as well. You've negated rank bonuses and that unit is just, it's breaking. Like it's almost <laughs> guaranteed there's something copping a flank charge with a ch chaos, a chariot mounted chaos lord. There's not much that's standing up to that. Yeah. So 
I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared and you know, legitimately so. So, so I shot it and I killed it. <laughs> One. Ah. Oh, you should have been scared of it. That's, That's it. terrifying. That's yeah. it. It is. It's legitimately <laughs> scary. Um, uh, yeah, but yes, the the general did still, you know, yeah. he got he into got, combat. He still got some stuff done. Got into combat. Killed killed a giant slayer, the the, mm -hmm. the unit champion in single combat, and then the dragon slayer in single combat. So cool. So cool. In the end, I think I should have probably given the Dragon Slayer the um, the plus one attack rune, the the rune of um, the rune of fury rather than the rune of cleaving. Yeah. Because I was like, because the whole thing of slayers is that their strength raises to meet the toughness of their adversary. But in my mind, I was like, he's going to be fighting rank and file. He's not going to be coming up against the you lord. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so he would have much more benefited from the, the extra attack rather than the extra strength. Because the extra strength, all it did was bring his strength up to meet... To be the same The anyway. same anyway, yeah. which is what would have been happening <laughs> naturally. So I don't think it's worth giving slayers bo boosts to their strength. They don't really need it. No, no. They've got an inbuilt thing that'll just raise yeah. it to whatever they're fighting anyway. But my head was, he'll hew through rank and file. <laughs> Yeah, but I've learned. I've learned my lesson. No plus one strengths for slayers. They don't need it. Um, what else? Um, my iron breakers did a very good job. Uh, they did their job. Yeah, you know, they, they held their held their ground. Indeed. Wow. Well, my iron breakers never failed the leadership yeah. test. They they, <laughs> they they smashed into your warriors, beat them, made them run, then held. They did. Uh, they managed to like what. Uh, restrain their their restrain overrun the charge, yeah. twice oh, their overrun, in a couple yeah. of different in a couple of different things um, and then slam into the flank hew through the marauders the marauders you know couldn't stand up to it and fair enough um, your cavalry did great this game they mate. did the knights are excellent they yeah did. those well knights this did a great job they did a great job this game um, it did take a surprising amount of time for them to get through my warriors did, yeah um, um, slightly poor rolling on a couple of couple of the attacks but indeed so killing a lot of dwarves and also just you know good leadership roles. good leadership mm. roles and you know strong leadership of a dwarf is always going to be hard to break unless you just you know break them savagely yeah um and because it's you know you're not getting rank bonuses or or outnumbering yeah. for a lot of They're times almost never going to outnumber yeah exactly um you know what they may have they may have gotten an outnumber bonus on one turn when i, I didn't think catch it, it. Made any real difference probably there, not yeah. probably not but they did a great job it was good to see them hit some stuff and like wreck some face and yeah. in the end it was them that forced the they, uh, they they forced the, the draw, tie. Yeah. Yep. They forced the tie. They forced the draw by you know staying, uh, pushing through that unit and then staying on the point. They were the ones that did it. Yep. So so there it is, guys. What an awesome game. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it I a had lot. A great time. That was a great time. A fun game. So look, if you liked it, if you got this far and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Do the thing. Click the button, and it'll just give you more of my videos when I upload them. If you want to support the channel, become a channel member, or give me a one-off donation, whatever you would prefer. If you want to support, that's the way to do it. Um, if you are subscribed, like the video for me, guys. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> but just interact with the video. <laughs> Please, the great algorithm, whatever you do with it, it'll, it'll help it out. You know, if you didn't like it, thumb it down. Do it. I want to see if you didn't like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Leave a comment. Um, let me know if I did some stuff wrong, apart from obviously the, you know, the magic phase bit. We're well aware that that was very yeah. wrong. <laughs> we know, we know. Uh, we, we did our best to just keep rolling with it. Um, but if there was anything else that was missed or incorrect, put it in the comments, guys, because um, I'm always learning about new little interactions or things. Yeah. Um, it's almost impossible to get this perfectly clean with a camera in your hand and doing the thing. But I'm always interested to find out if there's something I could do right for next time. Um, and if you're going to give me a correction, would love a page number and a reference to the rules because that just makes it that much easier for me to check if you are indeed correct. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, like, subscribe, do the things. But until next time, I'm Stoss. This is Dwayne. Happy Wargaming and be good to your mother. <laughs> <laughs>